Welcome back to the Witcher 3 Wild Turn Part 47, I'm pretty sure we're on now, guys. So we are back in the Witcher 3. And guys, today is a, um, let's just say it's it's an important day. Because I'm pretty sure if my, my calculations in my head are correct, and if I've got the, the full scope of what this game is down in my head, and I can record enough, that we're gonna, uh, we're gonna finish the game today. We're gonna finish the base game of The Witcher 3. You know, we've been doing this for, I mean, when did I start The Witcher 3 playthrough specifically? I started it in October of, I wanna say 2018, October of 2018. So we've been here a long time now. We've got an awesome looking Geralt. He looks incredible. He's wearing the Grand Master Wolf School armor. Oh wait, Master Crafted, God damn it, Master Crafted Wolf School armor. He's looking sharp. I didn't notice I had HDT on there. Okay, no, right. But we're going to start today with Ven Veni Vidi Vigo, which is a an interesting quest name. Then we have the Sunstone, and then I think it's just the final quest of the game, right? This stuff I'm going to save till Hearts of Stone. Obviously, that's literally a Hearts of Stone quest. This is just quite high level. Uh, the Treasure Hunt, we've got one. And then, obviously, Blood and Wine main mission. This is uh, the main quest that it wants us to do, so we have to do these two. So I'm just going to do it now. I don't know how long this part's going to be. It might be much shorter than normal. It might be much longer than normal. But what I'm going to do, I think, is once the game's all finished and I'm back at lovely old Care Morn, I'm going to I'm gonna have a bit of a chat to you guys. But, of course, we've got we've to watch the full credits, just like with The Witcher 2. But to get started today, I guess let's just go and see... Um, Let's just go and get this Fringilla thing on the go. I'm sure there will have been things in the base game I've missed, but I will, my goal basically is to try and do that in the um, in Hearts of Stone if I miss it, or Blood and Wine. Because basically, I wanna, when I stop playing fully, which will be at the very end of Blood and Wine, that's when we finish the full playthrough. This is just the base game. Then, um, then obviously we'll... Uh, sorry, then... then <laughs> that then then I want to have done everything at that point minimum. Well, max. Wait, I, that's just I just want to have done everything at that point. So I'm just counting today as if I can get there. I think I can based on how long I think is left of the game. Um, I think I want to try and finish just the base game today, which is going to be amazing. I'm not sure how I'm going to structure the Hearts of Stone parts. It'll be, I, I mean, as in uh, title is probably the better way. I don't know if it's going to be like the Witcher Hearts of Stone part one, or it's going to be like the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt part 48 or something, but we'll, we'll have to see about it, you know? This has been a long old trip. I'm not going to put adapt. Okay, so I think people on the whole wanted adaptive brightness, which just to give you a bit of a bit of a preview would look like this. But I think just for the mood and just the fact we haven't had it on the entire game, I think for this final Witcher part, I'm not going to have it on. But in Hearts of Stone, if it's still something you guys really want back on and you just think, yeah, it's just a pain to not have it, then I will do that. I'm not going to use Cat though, because I'm I'm going to be heading on to a, uh, a you know a fairly lit area soon. So at the moment, we're basically trying to get Fringilla from what I gather. Just, yeah, just checking sure, making sure I was recording. Okay, here we are. We're gonna sneak on. I think basically you have to go into the water and avoid all those light bits, or then you can get shot. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna try it. Okay. Some Milf Guardian soldiers. We have to be sneaky, guys. We have to be sneaky. I mean, this is crazy. I mean, it's absolutely crazy how long I've been doing this series, but I... I personally am very, I'm very sort of, I feel accomplished in it, you know? I can't dive. Is it not gonna let me dive? Okay guys, I just did a very, very quick reload. I made a save, I went to land, it's fine. Now we can dive. I don't know what that was, but it's fine, it's fine. I mean, God, we haven't actually seen Amir since, I guess... There just... in the water, shoot! No. Nothing, 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 you see nothing, you see nothing, I'm not in the water, you, you lie. Why you lie? Where Why is it lying? Where the hell has he gone? You didn't see me in the first place, what are you talking about? Should I, I should have had that water breathing potion on. Oh, it's fine, we're about to get there. I just have to be very sneaky. I'm sure you can, like, sneak and then not ever get caught full stop. But the way I see it, um, I don't think it really matters. Okay. I just have to get somewhere where they can't see me. This looks like a dark spot. Hold! It's the Witcher. Hello. orders. Stand down. So we made it. Yeah, they're gonna let us come on. You go to this like anchor thing, right? I think. Yeah. Okay, guys. Let's go and get Fringilla.
Witcher, what a pleasant surprise. Warm welcome. Thank you, Your Majesty. You should have come with my daughter. Your welcome would have been different. Where is she? Nearby. Zeracania. Uh, I don't really want to necessarily lie to him. I'm not going to be that. Um, I may as well say nearby, right? I mean, that's the way I see it. You see, yeah, I do like adaptive, but... Okay, I think nearby for now. Yeah. Close. Close, White Wolf, is what you are to decapitation. You're insolent because you believe I cannot afford to hurt you. And you're right. Yet that will change one day, when you are no longer indispensable, but disposable. But enough of that. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. What do you want? Fringilla Vigo. Been told you promised Yennefer you'd free her. I can see. I know you're a busy man. So here's a letter. Ought to refresh your memory about the Lodge. Even Yennefer's humblest requests seem like threats. I've always liked that about her. Very well, so be it. Ready to forgive them, truly? Yeah, I guess they were very... Un I mean, if you remember, um... Uh, Asira Va'anahid, she was killed by the Nilfgaardian guy in The Witch 2. If you remember the... I've forgotten his name, Shilard, I think? Um, he killed her out of, I guess... I guess he was, um, uh, you know, they found out that they were working not necessarily entirely for the Empire. They were also working with the Lodge, so they killed her. And this is why Fringilla, or Fringilla, has, uh, has been, you know, captured and put in jail. But as, as Amir needs Siri, he wants, yeah, he basically is willing to do whatever to try and get Siri safe, which is, is kind of nice. And he wants Siri back and all the rest, and he's willing to agree to Yennefer's, like, demand, I suppose. And he'll, he'll give her up. Okay, let's ask him. Truly prepared to forgive them? Amnesty in exchange for help? I'm prepared to abide by the agreement I made with Yennefer. Didn't answer my question. Nor must I. Hmm. Right, time for me to go. Time I was on my way. At last, a point we agree on. Guards, bring me Fringilla Vigo. You may remove her dimeritian shackles. No introductions are necessary from what I've heard. Farewell. Fringilla. Been a while. The other sorceresses, they're on Ginvale near Ard Skellig. We could take a boat. I'm sick to death of boats. despise teleports, but have it your way. Let's go. Right, we rescued Fringilla, or as, you know, Fringilla. Geralt says Fringilla. Philip, a pleasure as always. Come now, we need none of that. Fringilla, we must speak. Oh my. I had the same reaction. Oh, I want to go and talk to Fringilla. I will actually go and talk to Fringilla first. In fact, you know what I'm going to do, guys? I'm going to um, work out what the command is. I'm going to have a quick look online for the extra dialogue you can get from Fringilla. I'm going to make a save. I'm going to do that command. I'm going to get that dialogue from her. Then I'm going to go back on the save. But I'm just curious as to, as to what it is again. Well, I have heard it. I just want to show you guys, you know? Right, I'll have a quick look. Okay, guys, I have made a save, and I'm about Whoa. to talk to Fringilla, or Fringilla. I'm just going to say Fringilla, because Geralt says Fringilla, and Fringilla is probably the correct way, but I, I like the Geralt way. Um, but no, I'm going to add the command, and I'm going to show you the dialogue. I'm actually just going to show you the command. I tested the command, and it seems to work, but I thought, you know what? I'll show you me guys adding it. So first of all, if you quickly look... Yes, Geralt? Um, there is only one dialogue option. So long. And then by adding this command here, and doing it, I should now... Yes, Geralt? 
have there you go so cantarelli you might remember when we did the gwent tournament we met her she was under the name sasha and we get to find out a bit more about her from from Jilla here with this command so we're going to do that then i'm going to go back on the save and look at this one because i don't want to have any console commands there is also something else we can do which i will try and do i suppose in hearts of stone i think it might be more fun in hearts of stone because we do actually kind of start there i think but there's um i think you can go to the seven cats in and find tala and by using a command and maybe in combination with some sort of mod um, I can give Tala the monocle I think we found in the frying pan house way back when because there's a mod that adds that because it was a lot of this stuff was in the game but for some reason it just didn't end up in the final game like as the final in the final product I don't know why I guess they just decided oh, maybe too much talking I don't know but no we'll uh, we'll do this dialogue option and I'll do that other one probably in hearts of stone Cantarella who is she really she mentioned you knew each other. You ran into her. Her real name is Carthia Van Canton, Asira's former collaborator. She's very... talented. Spied for you? Not just for us, probably. I doubt she wishes any harm upon me or other sorceresses, but one must be very careful what one says in her presence. Seemed like you told her quite a lot about me. You ought to feel flattered, then. That makes you famous on both banks of the Yoruga. Well, there you go. And um, for anyone wondering, um, one second. So long. I have actually made a video on Fringilla where I sort of talked about her relationship with Geralt a bit. But if you just want to know, he actually met Fringilla when he went to Tucson in the books with his sort of crew. I'm not going to get into all that, but he had a relationship with her. Her job with, within the lodge was to basically try and keep him in Tucson so he wouldn't go and get Siri, so they could try and get Siri themselves. That was, uh, you know, that's a very, um, you know, like... A very, it's a very uh, simplified version of what actually happened, but she kept him there, but I think she did actually kind of fall in love with him, and eventually I think Geralt, basically he found some information regarding Ciri, and he decided that he had to leave, and she was trying to keep him there, but he was like, basically, no, I gotta, I gotta go and find Ciri there, she's in danger type thing, so he left almost immediately after that, but he stayed with her in Tucson for a long time, you might remember Anna Henrietta from the okay. Blood and Wine DLC, she's actually her cousin. So that's already interesting. I think it would have been cool if Fringilla had had more of a sort of, you know, she would have been in Toussaint more maybe. That could have been quite fun, just as a little thing here and there, just to chat to her, have her as maybe a romance option. I don't know. I think that'd be quite a fun Ramen way to supper, throw it back to the books, but refuse. obviously Blood and Wine is amazing as it is. You don't really need that. Just be fun. So I'm going to go back on the save now, talk to her, get that proper dialogue, and then I'm going to carry on with the game. Okay, I've gone back on the save, guys. You're about to see the dialogue option yes, is now no longer there. Uh, there you go, so I'm just gonna say looking good, which... Okay, Geralt, fair enough. <laughs> you look good. For a captive of Emir, is that what you mean? Seems like he's shown you surprising leniency. No interrogations, no torture. Or did you just tell him everything he wanted to know? If I'd told him everything, he'd hardly still need me alive, wouldn't you say? Anyway, we shan't speak of it. I and what concerns me have not been a concern of yours for some time, huh? Oof. Yeah, because he left. So long. Yeah, I mean, she was one of the few people that helped with Geralt, you know, and uh, allowing him to see Siri again for the whole Lodge thing. But no, it's fine. We're going to leave you now, Fringilla. Thank you for the chat. It's been fun. Um, nice brief mission with her, I suppose. I think we already talked to Cantarella, right? Sorry, not Cantarella. Mar Margarita. And um, it's because we just did that thing about Cantarella. And I think... I'm going to check if there's any more with Philippa and Siri and Yennefer and stuff what real quick. What do you want? Just wanted to chat, okay? Farewell. God, I've known you since The Witcher 2, Philippa, you know. Well, technically the books, but me you? as Geralt, you know. Got a minute. Of course. I uh, just want to check. Nope. I All right. I just want to check if there's any extra dialogue. Geralt. No. Okay. Thank right. Let's go and see Croc. Let's get this. Here, let's get this information about the Sunstone. Hello, Croc. Wolf, did you see? The black dogs in their rickety tubs, they bay at our gates, seek to strike fear in our hearts. Saw them all. Where's Ermian? Went to see Lugas. An uncrate on the throne remains a thorn in his ass. <laughs> now he's seen the black ones, it pricks him even harder. The druid's gone to reason with the dim-witted knob. Think I'll join Ermian. Need to talk to him. Go. And when you see that bloody twit Lugas, be sure and tell him... Uh, best not. The druid knows what to say. 
Farewell. Oh, this is where we go and do the Lugos thing. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. The annoying thing about the uh, adaptive brightness effect thing, because I use that for some videos too, is that occasionally it just randomly turns itself on. I think it's whenever I turn on the game, it sort of auto turns itself on. And when I only have adaptive brightness, it's basically impossible to tell. Because when it's in the middle of the day, because it, it adapts, right? It, um, it adapts depending on the lightness of the game, so it doesn't adapt, it doesn't go up at all. Right, okay. Oh, the other thing, I know I've talked about, this, uh, talked about this before, but with YouTube's new rules, I think I'm gonna have to maybe use the no nudity mod at all. Um, so we'll look into that for Blood and Wine stuff. That means the Brookses are gonna have lovely uh, flesh bikinis and stuff like that, which I think is fine, and it, it removes the blur, which might be nicer. It's, it's a really weirdly debatable thing, but I think with blurring, I get demonetized basically every time. Um, or uh, limited ads. And, you know, that that's just, like, a problem. And also, it kind of, like, I'm doing all this extra editing work, and I'm going to get uh, limited ads. And ultimately, all you see is a blur anyway. Is it is it actually nicer to see the sort of flesh? It's not really Respect, a bikini. It's more of, like, a strap. I don't know how to describe it, really. But, um, yeah, we'll, we'll look into that. I'll, I might do that as well. It's actually an okay mod. I've used it for videos and stuff, because I, I don't want to have blurs Something the whole time. I've always wondered. What will you witchers do once there are no basilisks, lesions, or... We've talked about this, we will be incredible mercenary killers, and no one can stop us, you know? It's fine. We kill plenty of people. What else would crash out? Oof. We are content to have the mightiest fleet take control of my oil and see this spawn on the throne. Under present circumstances... Under present circumstances, Crack can go ahead and reap the shite he sowed. Almighty Crack. Well, surely he can take on the Black Ones and Miss Zell. Respect, which I'll not kneel before an oncrate, never. That clear to you? You prefer to aid the Black Ones? I'd sooner aid the rights of bleeding Moorhog than let Crack rule all Skelliger. And your men, what do they say? Will they follow you when the Yarls call you a traitor? This here is my land, Druid. Watch your words. Um, what is it if not treason? Want to be king by the grace of Nilfgaard? Ooh. Uh, I don't think it matters what you say here. I think you have to sort of fight regardless. Um, okay, I'm going to say, yeah, this is what I'm going to say, I think. Would you be king by Nilfgaard's grace? That's your bark before you bite. Did Crack send you here for my head? Well, then go ahead. Try to take it. Get him. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can't avoid this. I've, I've tried in the past. It's alright, with our amazing wolf armor. This is the first use of it. Oh no, please don't die on the first use of it. Ugh. Okay, amazing. Did Ermion kill Lugos? Ugh. Oh no, there, he, there you go. I, I kind of got him. I mean, I, I'm not going to take credit for that one. I mean, I'll take credit for the Dijkstra one, even though I don't want to. We should not stay here. Yeah, that's what we did to Dijkstra. Oof. Uh, okay. Ermion, we're going. Please move. Ermion, come on, man. I need, I need to get through here, alright? Listen. Right, okay, boom. Oh. Right, nice. Let's get all this stuff. I might just pick all of it up. Our, our money took a bit of a hit last time. <laughs> Anything, even terrible swords that do nothing. You know what? I can actually loot all of Lugos's place while I'm here. No, no risk of guards trying to kill me. This is nice. I like it. You know, we may be almost at the end of the game, but we can still use all this stuff for Toussaint and stuff. I mean, I I'm now conscious of how expensive all the Grand Master sets will be. I mean, to be fair, I only now have to make one more set of each of the armors. You know, other than, like, the uh, the Viper stuff and the Manticore stuff and all that. But, you know, I, I had to make, like, two sets of each. But I, I honestly think that the, the Grand Master, or whatever it's called... Yeah, it is Grand Master is going to be way more expensive. And also, you know, we got to upgrade Corvo Bianco and stuff like that, so... Eh. I'd like to hear what you guys think. Should I now title the series as, like, you know, The Witcher 3, Hearts of Stone, Episode 1, and so on, until we finish, and then 
the Witcher 3 Blood and Wine episode 1, or should I just do like Witcher 3 part 48? Uh, Witcher 3 Hearts of Stone part 48. I mean, I don't know, it feels kind of like when we get to Hearts of Stone it is a new story, right? So maybe I should just almost do it as, as if that, but it will be the same game character pretty much, won't it? And it will be the same story, just a different, you know what I mean? A different overarching story, but the same Geralt, same story, same everything. Um, just a new, well, not not same story. Okay, I'm get, I'm you, I'm sure you get what I mean. I like to hear what you guys think. Uh. Oh, that man's actually a pretty badass, you know. Damn. I mean, we're looting everything. It all, everything must go. Does this mean I can't use the smith here anymore? Smell a card. Honestly, just while I'm here, I'm just going to take absolutely everything I can. I need it, okay? We've been really low on supplies for a while now. You know, I, I haven't been saying it, but we are. No, no, I think we're actually doing fine. Genuinely, we're fine. I'm just kidding. I, th I think we've got pretty much everything, hopefully. I mean, the way I see it as well, you know what? I'm going to get some quick enhancements following me and close up the, the fodder. Kind of. But the guy I've crossed is now dead, so, you know, not too much of a risk. What amazing final words. Right, Ermin, I'll be talking to you momentarily. Just a few more things for me to grab. Hey, we were kept in that jail. Can we release fellow prisoner friends? No. Okay, maybe, maybe later we can do that. Um... Do you know, I, I thought about this actually, and if you think about it, the end of the game gives you an opportunity to sort of go back to basically every area. You know, you have Bald Mountain, which is Velen, and then you have Novigrad, which is, you know, the whole helping Siri, Yennefer, Avalark, which you get to go to other worlds as well, and then you have the very end, which is Skellige, so it sort of gives you a reason to go back to every single area, which I think is, that's, it's quite, it's fairly subtle, I'd say. You, you can sort of work it out quite quickly if you actually think about it, but it's quite a subtle little... You actually go back to all these areas you've already spent so much time of the game in, but you get to do little little stories there, and I think that's cool. See, Dimeritium. That's what I'm talking about, guys. That's why you always loot. See, it might be some more here. A runestone? That's not bad. Oh, that reminds me. You guys... Oh, yeah. I don't have any runestones in my main armor. Um, and I was going to do that last time, but I completely forgot, and I just remembered a comment where someone said, make sure to remember to do that. So I'm going to put some in if I actually have good ones. These are just glyphs of Quen and stuff. They're not greater, which is why I'm sort of like, do I only want to put greater ones in? Like, <laughs> I don't use any of those signs, really. I could just fill it with Quen ones and Igni, and then I could always get rid of them later down the line, can't I? I know it destroys the runestone, but I'm sort of, you know, I'm fine with that. And when we upgrade the armor eventually, I'll put it in. I'll put the greater ones in when we have when we have like access to it and stuff. I'm looking forward to getting into the, you know the mutations and all the rest that we can do in Tucson. I, I I don't know if you've noticed this, guys. I'm very excited about Tucson, but I'm also very excited about um, Hearts of Stone. I cannot I can, well I cannot wait until we get to see Gaunter again. Oh, and some of you that haven't played it yet, you're gonna have to go back to the Witch of the three, I guess, which are three, yeah, this game, part one, I want to say, maybe part two, I think probably part one, where we met the uh, the man himself. Well, maybe, man, the, the thing. Okay, oh, I could have used the signpost, but I thought it might be fun just to walk down. So was the, the possibility of more, no, I'm not going to loot their village, it's fine. Oof, that's enough. Wait, wait. Didn't just kill your clan leader. <laughs> okay, Ermian, I have made it. Amazing. Well, Geralt, I see no row can occur in Skellige without your participation. Mean and inaccurate, Ermian. Seems to me I've missed quite a few. The blood of Crocs' blood sits upon the throne, and that is your doing. I'm afraid you've ignited a small civil war. For ages, men had shed each other's blood in the quest for Skellige's crown. Politics as usual, just a difference of degree. 
Yet the bloody feast at Kerr Trolda was different. It was dishonorable, treacherous, needed investigation. More witcher's work. Work that culminated with the crowning of the Isle's new queen. So, Clan Drummond will attack sooner than we expected, it seems. Thought Croc sent you to negotiate an agreement with Lugas. Ha! <laughs> an agreement? Only Croc believes such a thing possible at this stage. You mean I didn't actually ruin things for you? Not this time. Lugas' death stands to change a great deal. His cousin, who will now be named Jarl, is a weak commander. Stupid. This war will start soon, and even sooner. But why have you returned to Skellige? I mean, as opposed to who going on the throne, though, I guess uh, Lugos' son if he hadn't died, but even then, it's like, wouldn't that just annoy Croc? I don't know. Right, okay. How's Ceres? How's Ceres handling things? As the makings of an excellent queen, if she would only flee her father's shadow. Everyone, Lugos accepted, declared their support for her. Yet the minute the Imperial fleet appeared on the horizon, the Jarl took matters into his own hands. And Yalmar? And the lads led three raids against the Imperial fleet, all against Krak's will, all failed. Uh, yet he'll find volunteers for another. Yeah, sounds like Yalmar. Still survived three raids. Okay, ever heard of the Sunstone? Listen, Hermian. Know anything about the Sunstone? Legends place it somewhere in Skellige. The Mask of Ulberus first, now the Sunstone. Monsters may rest easy. You've become a treasure hunter. I've never found the Enshe Elves interesting. But there's a Skald, Avid. He could help you. Once told me of some inaccessible caverns or ruins or some such. Where will I find him? Today? In Arendjorn, doubtless. You might also ask the pearl divers, Erling and Matthias Fishlung. Of late, they hunt near the tip of the bay, eastern end. Fishlung? Fishlung? Interesting. So they call him. Submerges for hours at a time. None know how he does it, but I've my suspicions. Hmm. Not too fond of him. It's nothing personal. I couldn't stand his father or grandfather either. Okay, thanks for the help. Or your help. Thanks for your help. One thing, Garrett. These caves are ruins. Matthias and Erling's ancestors would have looted them bare centuries ago were they not protected by some magic barrier. Take a sorceress with you. You must have brought at least one along. Whole gaggle this time. Ugh. Gods protect us. Okay, so we have okay, we have quite a lot of little things to do here. Well, two things. Um, I'm just gonna check where the nearest signpost is. Looks like down there. I mean, he was not wrong about us being a treasure hunter. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, there's a there's a freaking there's a marker up there. Hang on, wait. Is there any marker here that I haven't missed other than that one? Guys, we have to go and do that marker, right? Surely. <gasps> and there's two there. I think that's a different marker we can't do yet. <gasps> and one there. Okay, guys, I'm going to quickly get these markers done. <laughs> I have to get these done. I think these two are going to happen naturally. Tell you what, once I finish the sunstone quest, I'll do this sunstone quest first. And um, then I'll do them. How about that? I think I'll do that first. I think that's a good plan. Um, yeah, I like that idea. Right. Because I did try and do those markers before, but I, I couldn't seem to find them anywhere. It was a whole thing. Ooh. Winds howling. Oh god. Yeah, well I'll see you there if I remember to skip it. I'm hoping this isn't one of those quests that I uh I can only choose one of these guys to talk to. I don't think it is, but we'll see. Oh, is this the whale boy? I th oh, I think it might be. Not now.
Watching for Nilfgaard's fleet. Fleet? Oh, aye, they mentioned something. Nay, hey, I've more important matters on my mind. By my calculations, today's the day Gevorg, the legendary white whale, will swim the waters of Skellige. Been waiting for this my whole life. What's this whale? What's this whale about? He's to appear when spectres descend from the heavens into the waves. The serpent wakes the sea's wrath and an icy monster devours an isle. Be the first bard to compose a ballad about him. Legends don't happen to mention a curse of the Black Sun, do they? Black Sun? What are you on about? Never mind. Oh, it is very similar. Yeah. Well, uh, we'll see Sayana off soon. <laughs> Um, I guess rent free is not a possibility. Okay, right. I'll watch for Gevorg. Gevorg with you. Let's watch for Gevorg together. And you can tell me what you know about any elven ruins in Skellige. Heard of some cavern no one's been able to enter? Good thing, too. Elsewise, they'd have plundered it long ago, like all the others. Uh, Avend. Avend. What? I... Uh, just wanted to assure you I only want to look around the cavern. It's research. Research? For a treatise on the Enshe and uh, I mean, it's gathering materials for that. Right, that. Writing a historical treatise on the Enshe elves, under Ermian's tutelage. Ermian? Man never cared a whit about the elves of the mountains. I've seen through you, you conniver. Cut me to bits if you like. I'll never tell you about the cavern. <sighs> oh. Okay, I think that was the option I do if I want to then talk to the pearl diver. That uh, was a very quick decision. I think if I did the other option, he would tell me where I need to go. I'm taking new gauntlets, you asshole. I'm happy you missed it. Haha. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. That's so mean of me. Um, but I think if I didn't do that, I couldn't have then talked to the pearl diver. I I think. If not, I don't. Re I don't really care. Who cares? You know. Um, I think. I could be wrong there, but we'll see. Why is there a dog just going around killing everyone's chickens? This feels. But can you toss an axe? Maybe yes, a I'm sure I can. I'm sure. Well, Geralt can toss a knife at a rat, right? Is that not a thing? In the in pitch black. Right. Well, I'll go and talk to this pearl diver anyway. I, th I think that's the option I have to do. Uh, maybe I could talk to him regardless, which in that case, it doesn't really matter. Do you know what I might do? I might um, do the markers now and then go and talk to this guy because I have to get a boat to get there anyway, really. Um, so I'm going to do that, I think. Is there a There is a boat here. Okay, let's do that. Well, I found the boat. This will be one of my old ones, I imagine, based on the, the broken part of it. Uh... Right. Okay, we're there, guys. I see a, a basilisk, I think. I think it's a basilisk. I always get it wrong. I th I'm, oh, come on, that is a... Or is it a cockatrice? I swear, I swear that's a basilisk. Right, I imagine... Well, we have been here before, because I discovered the marker, but I imagine it was too high level. Hmm. Uh, I'll go this way, I guess? Okay. Yeah, I think the two markers on the island are, are the sunstone ones, I think. Oh, it is level 32. You know what, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do a, well, it's not a griffin, but a witcher trailer. There you go. I love that ability. <laughs> okay, he's bleeding or poisoned or something. Oh. Got him. I'll take all that. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see. So there should be some treasure here. I'd like to maybe have a little look around the island because I imagine I completely, you know, didn't do that before. Um, let's have a look. 
I'm so happy that I got this armor for... F well, I got the Master Crafted. Yeah, Master Crafted Wolf Armor. See, I know it. I just always forget because it's Grand Master, Master Crafted, you know? Kind of similar. But also, uh, you know, Grand Master was added in Tucson. And I always think of that as, like, the best armor. And for some reason in my head, I'm like, okay, I've got the best armor that I can possibly get in the base game. So it's sort of weirdly stuck in my head. Um... Yeah, see, look, we just got a sword called Daystar. I imagine that's probably worth a bit of money. Yeah, it's worth a little bit. It's good, it's good. I guess, yeah, that's the other thing. I do actually, as I say, I have um, all the swords, so I'm sure I'll be able to get the Cobra Bianco and, you know, all the, all the other stuff. The Grandmaster armor with just that money there. But I, I will be obviously collecting money throughout the DLC. So yeah, it's not like we're, we're not gonna be collecting any more stuff. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to the other marker and then I guess carry on with the Sunstone quest. Okay guys, I have made it to the island. Snid, Snid Hole Isle. I think that I might have done a secondary quest here, although I could be wrong. I thought I'd just stop here because I can quickly get onto the land and check if there's anything else around. Um, just as I go, there's a few herbs I don't really need at the moment. Um, hang on. I think there is another boat here, so I can, um, oh, hang on. God damn it. We'll go around the other way, so I don't have to use this boat to get back. I'll use the other boat that I think is very close to the marker. I'm assuming it's going to be... Well, not- I think it's actually by the sea, but I, I just sort of want to check if there's anything up high while I'm here. I mean, I don't- this is like a path. Okay, I guess I can follow that- Oh, 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 I can do the, um... Now I can do it! <laughs> Ready? Oh, that's a high-level griffin. Right, guys, we're gonna kill this griffin. I don't care. I don't- I want to finish the Skelliger markers, and if this is what I gotta do... I've killed some wyverns in the past. I am prepared. Death March level 48 Arch Griffin. I can do it. Land. Holy crap. I'm gonna need all the potions for this one. Okay. Show me what you got. Hmm. I think the Igni, the Igni dream is not going to work. If I can get it to set on fire, though, that will probably be a, such a big boost. I'm not going to do the, the torrent thing anymore. It doesn't seem to want to work. I just have to hope I can get, like, poisons off on him and stuff. I've actually done quite a bit of damage. I haven't actually used this crossbow yet, really, have I? Oh, shit. Okay, hang on. Right. Okay, I think I've poisoned him. See, I'm not doing this the best way possible. I'm, I'm, I'm like, trying to aim down with the crossbow and stuff. I should realistically just be, like, firing like this. When I can. Hang on. I like that silver. Easy. See, if we don't focus on random crossbow stuff, pretty easy. Right, we got him. He was 14 levels higher than us. Ooh. A frustrated warrior's notes. Just my plowing luck. I buy myself a horse. Turns out to be lame. I take a wench for my wife. Turns out to be a nasty... Okay. Um, I, I, just because monetization. Uh, I build a house. Not a year goes by and lightning strikes. Burns the whole thing down. And the one time, one time, fortune smiles on me. And I return from a raid with some prime loot. A griffin flies down and makes its nest right on the summit of the mountain. Right where I hid the treasure. Guess I should be happy it's not a gold fucking dragon. For fuck's sake. But so be it. Not the first wind to blow me in my eyes. I'll chase it off, even if I die trying. Some treasure, huh? 
I knew there'd be more on this island, guys. There's some secret treasure. I'm assuming this was added in a DLC, because they kind of expected people to get to level 48 in the base game. Oh. Wow, that very well hidden. Okay, nice. We got some more stuff. Right, I'm going to go to the Pearl Diver, and there. We will be there. <laughs> yeah, and there. Yeah, amazing. We did it. Oh, hello. Just going to just gonna come through here. Do you know what? I might actually go across the land. I had a harbor, like, right here. I think I'd probably be quicker just to go across here. I'll set it today. It'll be nice. Oh. Okay. Daytime. Please don't be raining. Okay, it's not raining. Good, good. Let's go and talk to the Pearl Diver. I mean, we didn't... Isn't this the place we came for the Black Pearl? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm actually pretty sure it is. So I guess we'll talk to him, because we couldn't talk to other guy. Well, I... I uh, that, that was sort of on purpose. Must be the Pearl Diver's boat. Ah. Is that pearls down there? Hang on, you know what? I haven't used this really at all. I feel like it's probably going to be one of the... Imagine if... I'm actually curious about this pearl diver now. Uh, right. Pearl diver. Turns out to be a drowner. <laughs> a drowner man. Um... Lots of book thorn. Okay, we're not going to go on a book thorn massacre again. I think that's enough. I'm just curious as to where this guy is. I'm assuming he's like really deep down or something. Like here, maybe? No. Wait, he is actually under the water, isn't he? I didn't just jump in here for no reason at all. Or is he? Oh, there's a cave. Okay. I'm going to guess he's in the cave. Interesting. You wouldn't have thought a pearl diver would go into a cave for pearl. I, I I don't know much about pearl diving. I assumed it'd just be sort of bottom of the ocean, to, or toward, not the very bottom, you know what I mean, like... Sea floor. I don't know. I don't know anything about pearl diving, really. Ah, interesting. See, we would have missed all this, I think, if I had um, decided to do the other thing. Oh! Look, Erling, told you we wasn't done for the day. Didn't even have to fish this one out. You daft. Can't you see he's a witcher? What's a witcher doing here? No more pearls? These are your people? Yeah. Uh... Ran out of pearls. Not your concern. What the sea gives, we take. Seems she's a reluctant giver. Hey, I could use a better knife, but a few hours and their fingers are swollen. Hand over the bodies to their families after? Taking quite a risk, yeah. Plan to return the bodies to their families at least? I mean, once you're done. They speak true. Mutants got nothing resembling refined sentiments. Look at them. You think their ever-loving mums and wifeys want to see them in this state? The sea will bury them. And that's that. Um, yeah, I get the point, but mm, okay, taking quite a risk. Maybe you should ask them. Say, look, I've got the body of this person, and I can bring it to you, but um, you know, they they look pretty horrible. So, do you want just to bury them, and I can tell you where their grave is, type thing. Risking a lot. Why? That a threat or something? Don't need to worry about me. But I heard calls underwater. Monsters must have sensed blood. I don't hear nothing. Ordinary folk never hear these things till it's too late. We best get out of here, Matthias. Okay. Heard you know something about elven ruins. Listen, heard you know a thing or two about elven ruins in Skellige. Who says? Hermion. Hmm. You'll not tell him what you saw today, will you? Depends. Elven ruins, you say? What you want to know? Druid mentioned some cavern you've never been able to enter. Where is it? East of Kertrold. In a cove you can only reach from the sea. We got nothing else for you, so if you're done, 
We'd rather get back up top. I'm done. And good idea. Now, did they leave any loot? <laughs> that's the question. Now, um, yeah, that's the cave where the two markers are that we haven't quite got yet. But then after that, we'll have got every single marker. Oh. Oh my god, what the hell. Right, dealt with. I'm sorry guys, I'm aware that this cave is probably very dark, and I could put on cat, but I'm about to leave it, so... You know, I might put on adaptive brightness, guys, for when I, um, when I do the... Uh, oh god. You know what? Damn it. Just for now, why not? I'll give you guys a little treat. I mean, it sure is nice to be able to see, you know. I do like that. It's a good feature. Right. Oh, we did get some loot, I guess. Is there a quicker way out of here? Do I have to swim again? I don't want to miss anything. You know what? Blowing up all those rocks was a reward in itself. Right, okay. I'm going to head up, go and talk to Yennefer, and then I'll be back with you guys, because I'm, I'm going to head up now. Okay, guys, I have made it back to Kier Trolda. Um, there's a lot of boats here. <laughs> I think most of them are just ones I probably brought, but yeah. We're gonna go see Yennefer, and we're gonna get going with the Sunstone quest. I'd rather verify him now. Otherwise, I'll continue to wonder if he's not about to stab me in the back. You have something of a persecution complex. You needn't come with us. I haven't intended. I think that's about Avalar, right? Going somewhere? Siri says there's a site in Skellige we must examine. Avalar's clearly hiding something from us. Earlier, when we were in the Isles together, Avalach mentioned a laboratory. At one point, he wished to teleport there, to retrieve something, and he refused to take me with him. It was all very strange. Sufficiently suspicious, don't you think? Yes, sufficiently. Making too much of it. Oh no, I am totally on the side of let's be very skeptical of Avalach. You know, I like the guy, but um, based on books, well, based on what we know of him from the books, etc., I think it's good to have a, a healthy bit of suspicion about him. So what? Want to just sneak in and root around? Exactly. Coming with? Fine. Where is it? On a small isle between Undvik and Spikarog. Not exactly on our way. Just found out the sunstone's on Ard Skellig, cavern along the coast that we can only access from the sea. Gonna need some real magic to get in, too. Go find this laboratory. I will explore Ard Skellig. You can join me later. Philippa, your eyesight. Only just recovered and magically simulated. Didn't you say you'd need some time to get accustomed? Did I? Irritating she can be. Come, Siri. We'll await you there. I do have to admit that I love seeing the sorceresses interact with each other because there's kind of like that element of arrogance to it. And, uh, you know, with Geralt and Yennefer, I feel almost like. It's sort of like, um, when they are sort of arguing or whatever, it feels a bit more oof. But with the sorceresses, there is sort of an element of, like, they both know just as much as each other and they both know it type thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of an interesting thing. Right, okay, I guess we're going to go and do the Child of the Elderblood. I guess we'll- yeah, we'll do that first. Right, well, I guess we'll just travel to the island. Um, we've probably already been there. We probably- I imagine we'll have a marker there from all the Skelligan traveling. In fact, I think I actually have been there. I, I have a, like a distinct memory of us getting there at one point. And thinking, oh yeah, it's this place. 
Yeah, look, we've been there. Right, let's go. Okay, Yennefer, Siri, I have made it to the island. It didn't take long. We've already been here, actually. Um, the is very well protected. I believe we'll find something interesting inside. How will you lift the barrier? Atlan Kirk's inclusion should do the trick. Remember the spell? I remember you teaching me. And to think I thought you an overbearing cold shrew at the time. Now, now. This is no time to get soppy. Sounds like a, a time of contempt. No, right, okay, right. Yennefer, hello. So, any incriminating letters? Closets full of skeletons? We've not even opened the door yet. It's a highly complex magic barrier. Let's try. Yappa Ligon! Oh, I know what's about to happen. You know what, guys? I'm going to do something amazing. I'm not going to put Ogroid oil on. I know. I remember. Wait. I remember. <laughs> I need to do the oils, don't I? You know what? Tucson, I will do everything, okay? As I said. I'll make everything too. We've awoken the century. I'll take care. Don't worry. I've had my fair share of fighting golems in this game. I'm so confident I'm not even going to use Quinn. I can't, I don't, but you know, I'll be fine. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of losing confidence. You know, I, I'm very much trying to get as many hits as possible here. I'm, I'm going to go to Quinn just because I want to kill it as quickly as possible. Now I think it's all these rune stones I put on. I can't loot it. Oh. Come. Will do. Yeah. Right, we're coming. Pretty cozy. Doesn't look much like a lab at all. That proves nothing. We must look around. It's a bit low, isn't it? Rummaging through his papers. You wish to come, my dear. Portrait of Siri, I think. No, that's not me. Where's the scar? It's definitely you. Hm. Really captured you. Sure, Avalok's only interested in you for your magic abilities. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> I mean, he did... Uh, I don't know. I don't think Siri... Yeah, it is definitely Siri, right? I always wondered if it was meant to be like a Lara Doran thing. I will look in one moment. <laughs> Didn't know he had a sweet tooth. Oh, you got little sweets. Let me look around first, Yennefer. What, what is it, Yennefer? What? It seems someone was literally just here. Avalok's on the ship. We know that. An assistant, maybe? Yeah, maybe an assistant. Avalok's assistant, maybe? No. Somehow, it doesn't seem like Avalok to have one. Hmm. A distillate? Smells like... Verbena. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha uh -huh what? No, nothing. Sometimes you really get on my nerves, you know. Herbs. Not very incriminating. Wait. We've not examined the entire laboratory yet. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, I'm just- I was a little bit confused about the, uh, the ver- the verbena joke or verbena joke, and... I think- I thought it was to do with this, like, this thing that happened in the books with this, like, poem. But I think it literally is just what it sort of appeared to be on face value, which is, um, because I thought, that, is that a reference to something? And, uh, I think it's just on face value. I think it's literally just when Yen goes, oh, Verbena. And he's like, ah, it's sort of like, because it, it's not incriminating in any way. And it's like, she sort of no notices it. I think he's just making a joke that that's why she got annoyed. Okay. I'm very scared of potion face, Geralt, which happens every time I use a potion sometimes. I, I haven't seen anything here that particularly incriminates Avalok yet. 
Um, oh, a glyph. That's cool. Right, I want to yeah. avoid going down there. Ah. Yen. Genealogical chart of the Enhanicare, the Elder Blood, from Laura Doran. To me? You never showed me the full version. I had no idea Viedmont of Eden was an ancestor. Was he the one who punished his daughters with a hot iron? Or the one who had his own father's eyes gouged out? Him of the daughters. My, even I'd never seen the full version. Seems Avalark has analyzed all the paths of Lara's gene, even those we thought extinct. Oh, damn. Had enough of this. Let's look at his notes. Only analyzed? He's only analyzing? Really believe that? If he's anything like our mages, I seriously doubt he's standing back and observing how Lara's descendants are doing. I don't think we'll ever know if or how deeply the elves have meddled in the gene's mutation. Did you have a hand in... in what Geralt mentioned? The work of those human mages. Of course not. Hmm. Um. Yeah. I, from what I gather, I, mean, I think it is mentioned in the books, but you know, a lot of mages they are obviously researching into series series. Uh. I guess. I guess. It, I don't want to say condition. More of uh, her power, I suppose. And they worked out. You know, basically how it was carried and all the rest, and they 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 worked out a lot of what the whole thing was because it was it was ob it's obviously a very powerful thing, <laughs> and well, you know, I guess I guess we'll just we'll just move past that one. Uh, let's look at his notes. I do want to have a look at his notes actually. Let's look at his notes. Gods. He spent over two centuries on this. He was the first to study Lara's gene. Volker? Hmm. Some entries about Ciri. But it's here, later, that things get interesting. He actually tried to cultivate a genetic mix like Ciri's, but one excluding the human line. Meaning what exactly? That I ought to be looking about for giant jars holding my siblings? Don't be foolish. Avalok never got that far. Apparently, all his experiments ended in failure. You are unique. And that's why we've the Wild Hunt to contend with. Let's ferret on. See if we can't find something even more interesting. So he did a lot of research into the Elder Blood, I guess, and Eredin picked up on this. And realized how... So he was the one doing most of the work. I mean, we know he had a whole thing with Lara Doran, right? Hmm, well, let's see what else. Yeah, well, have a look what else. Excuse me, Siri. You Perhaps all right? this was not a good idea after all. Uh, I don't know. I think it's good to know, let's right? Let's see what Avalok's really planning. Yes. Oh, hang on. Hmm. Someone's there. Beyond the door. Hang on, there was some... <laughs> hmm. I'll sure know their fragrances. Hmm. Mirror standard. Might have expected a hidden portal. Yeah. So someone's beyond the door. Is that everything? I think so. Okay. How did you get in here? Who are you? We mean, we mean no harm. <laughs> Who are you? Yeah. Who are you? Not your concern. Get out of here. Now. You. I remember you. From Tir Naliar. Remarkable. I thought all elves looked alike to those of your race. If it's Avalach you seek, he's not here. I know. And yet you come here. What for? To spy on him. He tries his damnness to save you every time you do something stupid. Is that not enough? 
What can you possibly know about that? You'd be surprised. He's told me a great deal about you. For example, Siri, let's go. Oh, do I really want to be like prodding? I feel like I kind of want to know, you know? I feel like we should just be like, Siri, let's go. You know what? Yeah, Siri, you know what? As much as I kind of want to know, I feel like just for Siri, I think we should just be like, fuck it, let's just go. Siri, let's get out of here. No, I want to listen. He said you shared Lara's features. I don't see whatever it is he sees. It seems a bit like trying to drink water from a mud puddle. But I imagine that belief somehow helps him with his task. What task? Do you think he trails you everywhere for pleasure? Even I grow ill at the sight of you. It's incredible how those like you still believe you're superior to humans, in any way. She's no human. She's a degenerate half-breed. To have no choice but to use something like that? It's humiliating. Another word, and I'll- What? You'll change nothing. She must do what she must. Then Avalach will finally be free of her. If he hates me so deeply, why didn't he tell me to my face? Um, I don't know. He... Yeah, I don't know. He that important to you? I mean... I guess that... I don't know. That seems a bit mean, but confrontational. I feel like... You know, she did also seem to sort of have a bit of spite towards Ciri, obviously being an NL, I imagine they have that to most humans, but particularly to Ciri, so I feel like, yeah, I feel like I'll go with this one. Ciri, you didn't actually believe her, did you? She's, uh, personally involved in the matter, that's clear. What of it? If they despise me so, they should leave me be! Siri. What? Do you fear I'll level this place like I did Care Moin? Shame I can't do that at will because I'd really like to now. Siri, you go for it. There, that's better. Let's get out of here.
Perfect. <laughs> That's amazing. Right. Okay. Oh, I love that mission. Should we go and have a quick look at Avalox? <laughs> His portrait. Just, just cards. Perfect. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> did they completely? What? What did they actually wreck? They just, just pushed everything over. <laughs> On that side of the room, I guess. Right. Oh, do you know what? I didn't actually loot the room where that elf was. Am I still allowed to go in there? Because I'd like to quickly get that. Let's have a look. Oh. Tales and legends about humans. Talalith. 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 And the evil witch. No one in all of Tin Lear or Tin Lear. Or Tinalia, <laughs> I don't know. I, I, it's hard one to say. No, no, no. Of Tinalia knew how to help Talalith. Ta, Talalith, Tal, Talalith, I'm adding an extra la. Talalith removed the evil spell cast upon her brother. Overwhelming despair clouded her judgment, and she went to see an old witch. She forgot the sage's warning that the old woman's heart was black as pitch and foul as carrion, crawling with maggots. The old witch lived in a cage in the wastes surrounding in the in the wastes surrounded by poisonous vapors and venomous vipers and toads. Talith went there, and even though and even though her heart was pure, even though her pure heart cried out for her to turn back, sorry, even though her pure heart cried for, even though her God, I, guys, look, I don't like this reading sometimes, but I I like to know what happens, you know. Even though her pure heart cried out for her to turn back. As she approached the cave, she smelled an odour so terrible she almost fainted. She had no idea what it was, for she had never been near a human before. Oh, God. She overcame her disgust, thinking all the while about her brave brother, and asked the witch for help. And what will you give me in return, my dear elf? screeched the witch. Anything you ask. Give me your voice, my dear elf, and I'll lift Laod's curse. Talith thought about how she used to sing lullabies to her little brother and began to cry, but she gave the witch her beautiful voice all the same. The woman grabbed it in her crooked talons like a small silver fish and tossed it to her cat. Now give me your hair, my dear elf, only then will I lift your brother's curse. Talith sobbed but agreed, and the witch wove a thick net from her hair and hung it from the trees in order to catch birds. Now give me your eyes, my dear elf, or I'll, or I'll never lift Laird's curse. Talith loved her brother very much and so gave the witch her green eyes and the witch sewed them into her dirt, dirty dress like precious stones for ornament and she started to laugh only then did Laith, La, 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 Talith understand that the witch would never lift Laod's curse and all her sacrifices had been for nothing but she could no longer cry but she could no longer cry. Oh, how she regretted not having listened to the sages who tell so many tales of human treachery. Talith was petrified with with regret, but her pure heart continued beating. When the old woman bent over her books of spells, Talith's green eyes read along with her, and in this way Talith learned it was the witch who had put a curse on her brother Laod. And so she caught fat robins with the net the witch had woven from her hair and fed them to the witch's cat. Purring with delight, the cat agreed to follow her back to Tinalia. There it told the sages the whole story about Talith's stolen voice, and they recognized that it was true. The evil spells cast on Laod and Talith were reversed, and the evil witch was drawn and quartered. Well, good. <laughs> maybe, maybe I guess the moral of the story is just let sages do everything. Amazing. Okay, let's meet Siri. Enough reading. That was a good mission. I like that little mission. Perhaps this was not a good idea after all. Oh, okay. Must we return to the boat right away? Something else you want to see? Not here. On Hindisfjall. In Lofoten. I met a young man, Skjall. And I'd like... What is it? Siri. Skjall is dead. Wild hunt. Everyone? No one survived? Skjall died later. You sure it was him? You'd met him? I was there. I saw his body. Will you visit his grave with me? I'd like to... 
to say goodbye. Yeah, I'll go with you. Yeah, hundred percent. I'll go with you. Thank you. Could you open a portal to Hindusfjall? I can. Uh, let's go, sir. Yeah, we'll just do this straight away. Let's do this. Come back soon, all right? Mm -hmm. See you. Let's look around. Should be a relatively fresh grave mound. Thank you for coming. I detest graveyards, especially wandering them alone. Let's look together. Don't like graveyards either. I guess I don't, but let's just look together. Let's look around together. Come on. Lasse, son of Njord. Olaf, son of Ova. Inga, daughter of Chortnir. Damn it. He's not here. Skjall has no grave. Geralt, I shan't leave until I bury him. Think, the body. What could have become of it? They didn't burn it. Save that honor for kings and heroes. Doubt they left him in the garden, too. Hmm. Ugh. Bastards. What? Beyond the village, there's a pit. They fill it with sheep taken by Blackleg. Crabs pick up their bones at night. What are you doing? What you should have done long ago. We're burying Skial. Burying Craven? You defy the right of the elders. Be gone. Leave this place. You defy our laws. Quiet down. Your laws don't bind us. True. We're not bound by them. Aye, and you've clearly no respect for our customs either. Craven's place is in the ditch. Skjall saved your bloody lives. The Wild Hunt was after me. Had Skjall not led me away then, why they would have reduced Lofferton to ash? What would the spectres be wanting of some lass who... I am not some lass. And anyone who so much as touches this grave will learn that the hard way. Hey, none will disturb it. Desecrating graves. Well, it's the only thing elders punish harder than fleeing the battlefield. And what you said... Can't know the truth of it. The gods will judge Skjall now. We were right to come. I was deeply troubled. You've no idea. Well, they shouldn't spit on his name anymore. Let's go. I'm surprised they were so, um, you know, negative towards Skull, considering, you know, he did technically die in battle later on. I mean, I guess they, they had the complete wrong perception of what happened. Um, I could, is, if I stay here, I'm sure I'll, might, I might be able to talk to someone or something, but I, uh, maybe, but I, I just think I should, well, you know, I want to go with Siri. Back to the boat. Mm -hmm.
Well, that was good, Siri. Guys, we're almost at the very end of the game. Oh, hang on. I'm not going to risk it. Okay, right. Um, yeah, I guess we'll go and do the Elven Ruin thing now, and then we are, we're done with this whole little, uh, battle preparations, then we have the final battle. Yeah, amazing. I mean, God, guys, it's been, um, been a, been a ride, huh? And we'll set it today, just to get that lovely light. Oh, really nice. Okay, cool. And we get to finish off the final two markers. I have already been here and killed a lot of the stuff that was in here. Oh, I have to get a boat round there. Oh, yeah. Okay. I guess we'll just go to the harbour. I'll get a boat round. I will skip to when I am there. I never doubted you would. But why did you? You might have just... To hear you reveal all about your experiments with the Elder Blood Gene, unlike... I've hidden nothing that could be useful in our struggle against Eredin. As regards the Elder Blood, you're all aware Siri is exceptional. I am alone only in knowing to what extent. Or maybe you're just obsessed with her. I'm obsessed. Huh. Interesting conversation. I almost missed that completely. Okay, right. I'll see you when I'm there. <laughs> okay, guys, I've made it. My boat had a, a few accidents involving some sirens, but we are, we're there. Um, this is the cave. This is where the sunstone is. I think it's... I, I have... I swear I managed to get into this cave somehow, or at least something similar. Okay, Philippa. Just wonderful. I say, look at this. Let's go. What now? Gonna grow yourself some new eyes, like Vilgefortz did? I remember the moment I killed him. Cultivation wasn't complete. They hadn't grown in fully yet. Looked disgusting, but... I take it your mention of that deviant is purely coincidental. Of course. Also heard of this rich blind dwarf from Mahakam. Had them put two sizable rubies in his eye sockets. Couldn't see a damned thing. But word is, it looked pretty tasteful. <laughs> I'm just gonna re-equip Cat, because I think I took it off in favor of... Just because I feel like this is the sort of place I'm probably going to need it. Right, okay. It is nice to come and do stuff with Philippa. Little, little Witcher 2 throwback. One minute, Philippa. I think there's... At least there appears to be a... Okay, you know what? I'm not going to... I'm not going to go off the track at the moment. And that is why. <laughs> I can have a look around later. Hear that? Hmm. I have a city now! Christ! What if she just said? <laughs> Yeah. Sorry, I'm just being quiet because I'm aware you can probably barely hear me with all the monsters. Oh, there is a place of power. Mm. Magic. A place of power. I'm going to assume this is one of the markers. Boom. So, um, I'm going to set a... Yeah, I also have this to do, which I guess I can do after. I think that's it for the Skellige markers. Oh, look. Boom. That's why you do it. Um... Okay. Right, Philippa. I think I might have found everything. Oh, no, no. 
There's a little chest. No, okay. I think that might be everything. It's possible I could have missed like one chest, but uh, you know, I don't really mind if it's just the one. Um, just making sure. Oh no, no, there's one there, there's one there. There, see guys, this is why, you know, I always say you should just look around just in case. Okay, Philippa, let's go. Hmm. Right. Hmm. So how do we get up the... The stairs? I'll fix them right away. Ready. Let's go. Couldn't help notice the tension between you and Yennefer and Triss. It's very hard on Ciri, I think. There are times I doubt you three realize how it looks. Triss plays the big sister to Ciri, but eagerly awaits a chance to hop in bed with you. You and Yennefer play the parents. Yeah, so if you're angling to make it a fivesome, there's clearly no room. <laughs> oh, Geralt, you got her. Right. Just because the marker is apparently over this way, I might have a quick look. Okay. We'll head back to Philippa in a moment. Boom. Um, check if there's anything hiding. I don't see anything. Um, yeah, final markers over in this room. Then we'll head back to Philippa. I might have a proper look round here. I'll probably skip most of it if there's nothing. Ooh, an elven. Okay. Um. Is like a specific route. Hmm. I got an idea. Whew. Okay, that worked. We use the key to open that. Amazing. Uh, you know what? God, that was terrifying. Right, well, we managed to get that marker, so that should be that one now done. Boom. I think we literally just have this one left in Skelliger. From the whole of Skelliger, I think. Just making sure... Yeah, that's it. That's it, that's the last one. So we'll do that one afterwards. Okay. And then I guess we have the final mission of the game, I think. Or the final, like, you know, before it's a lot of very short missions. Okay, Philippa. Okay. Oils. Um, here, right? Nope, here. Yeah. God damn it. God damn it. Can I loot him? I'm not being able to... Well, it seems I can't loot any of the golems. Ooh. God damn, we're finding a lot of cool stuff in this cave. I guess it has been completely unlooted, right? 
You going up there, Philippa? I'm going to have a look down here then. I don't see anything. Uh... Nope, still nothing. Right, that's fine. Okay, just didn't want to miss anything. Oh, hang on. No, okay. See, it's so confusing when they are identical colours. No, there's nothing down there. Okay. Right, Philippa, let's go. Yeah, let's go. What now? It appears I must do everything for you. See the sentry who seems to be waiting for payment. I'm fresh out of change. Ugh. In blood, not coin. The sentry is Fearland of the Elven Legend. Do you literally read nothing? There you are. Yennefer must have tremendous pull with the Emperor to get him to guarantee the Lodge's safety. What's your take on it? My take? Obviously a leading question. No. Geralt, I'm tired. Let's sit and chat a bit first. Is foreplay that important to you? <laughs> Hash it out with Yennefer. Not excited to work with the Emperor? You'll get to work with the Emperor. Not excited? No. I, I mean, yes, of course I am. Thus far, the Lodge has oft banked on weak rulers. It's been one of our biggest mistakes. Hmm. So you're impressed Emir keeps his mages on a short leash? Yennefer's wise to keep you out of politics. I'm afraid you'd not realize which way the wind was blowing if you pissed straight into it. Hey, there's the Vilgefort's reference. Right, hash it out with Yennefer. You ought to talk to Yennefer. Painfully clear there's unfinished business there. Yennefer's always walked her own path. I'm actually touched she decided to take an interest in matters of the Lodge this time. You don't trust her. So once the hunt's defeated, leave. Find asylum elsewhere. I hear Redania's offering. I'd sooner stick my head in a Zoogle's spiky orifice. Thanks, but I've other plans. I wonder what Philippa wants to do. Okay, deal with Emir is sorceress business. This deal with Emir, it's sorceress business. Pick someone else's brain. So she's not told you anything? What about personal plans? Has she mentioned anything? A possible advisory position? Beside a young, promising empress? Stay away from Ciri. She's an adult, Geralt. You keep forgetting. She can decide for herself. So, onward. Ah, adults still need help. Don't you think it's time you stopped interfering in Ciri's life? No. But you do know we're not a pack of wolves you can just drive away from her with your sword. Sure you are. And yes, I can, if the need arises. <laughs> See, because Philippa, she's like, oh, you know, she's an adult, she can make her own decisions, but she's very willing to push Siri into to whatever she wants, you know? So, you know, you gotta, you gotta, you can't fall to Philippa. Okay. What now, you I mean, if this is what the Wild Hunt might be sending, because they are Wild Hunt warriors, right? Um, is that their wreath forms? I can understand why people would be so terrified, you know? I mean, it must be it's Tin Lear swords. You'd assume it's... Ooh. Guys, as I always say, this is why you look around. I mean, goddamn. I get so much good stuff just from being like, you know what, I'm going to have a quick look here. You know, people are conf I saw some people like, you have 50,000 crowns? Damn. But that's what you get for doing everything, you know? As well, when you try and do a l at least a lot of stuff. I'm trying to do everything, but I'm sure there'll be a few things I've missed. Which I can try and pick up in Blood and Wine and Hearts of Stone, you know? 
Wait. There's something here. Feel it? No. My medallion. A ridiculous bauble. It made me laugh. Tuning into elven magic is just slightly more difficult than sniffing out a malodorous fiend. Watch this. Arahan Luma! means the sunstone is here. Don't stand there looking stupid. Try to shift the mirrors. <laughs> I love Geralt's reaction. <laughs> just, uh, sorry, I just want to make a save. Ugh. Just, he just goes, uh-huh. So, yeah, cool. Nice one, Philippa. Amazing. I will shift the mirrors. I just want to check for any chests again. I mean, this is an elven ruin, guys. There could be incredible things here. I will shift the mirrors, though. Hmm. Maybe it's worth just going and trying to shift the mirrors, and whilst I am shifting them, I will, um, I will look in Witcher in spec mode. Because I can turn off this fisheye effect thing, but I, I kind of like it. Hmm. Ah, see? Hidden. That's some more meteorite. Um, ah, you see? Oh no, that's a rock. That was a tiny little chunk. Oh! Oh! Yeah, I don't, I don't think Igni's gonna be too powerful against the, the ethereal ghost. Oh, come on, how'd that hit? Right. I literally, I just used quite a safety, you know? Just in case. Right, so I have to shift these mirrors. I'm assuming so they're all pointing at the, the light. Or... They're all pointing... Or they're all lit up, maybe. So I can either have it this way, or... This way. I see. I don't know if this is the right thing. Um, well, I'm just going to move it just because it gives me the option to. I can always go back to it. I might try and shift this one and see what happens. Like, what is it I'm trying to light up here? Oh. Chaos! Okay. Gonna check what else is here. Nothing. Okay, so what happens if I move this one? I see. Maybe I have to have none of them lit up? I don't think that'll be it, will it? Hmm. Well, I want to explore anyway. I'm just, the mirror thing is kind of... I need to do that, obviously. Am I trying to get it to light up the door? Is that it? Witch hunter armor? What? A witch hunter managed to get in here? Uh, I don't see anything down here. Okay, I guess we'll go to the one light I haven't been to just yet. Um, I can probably make it up this way. Hmm. Found it. That worked? Oh, we did it. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I just basically flicked every single switch and just thought, eh. I mean, I understood that the door was sort of what we were going for. This is where we came from, I think. I want to say, uh, I'll check, I'll check. Is there anything in here? I think this is the way we came. Yeah, this is the way we came. Okay. I mean, I was going to explore this ruin in full. If there's anything I've missed, I can, pr well, I can come back here in future. I can go through the same place we came in. Um, so just give me a shout. The thing is, is I think all we're gonna maybe miss, if anything, because I think, I think I've got quite a lot of stuff from here, is just like, you know, 
dimeritium or something like that. And I have a lot of those materials, and I have a lot of money, so it's it's not it's not too big of a deal. It's not like I'm missing a story thing. That'd be major. Okay. Last. Hand it over and let's get out of here. Not so fast. We have a matter to discuss. Let me guess. You gotta fly. You're about to tell me why you need the Sunstone so much more than we do. Then you'll change into an owl and whoosh. No idea where you got such a ridiculous notion. Ciri's safety is most important to me now. But I wish to talk to you about the future. My future. I recommend the Alpine Air of Nazir. Emperor's got flan plans for you, I'm sure of it. I'm gonna go with the sarcastic response. You're like Nilfgaard, no two ways about it. I recommend the fresh Alpine Air of Nazir. <laughs> and Yennefer claims you have no sense of humor. Now listen carefully. Once we've defeated the hunt and Ciri is safe, Yennefer's meteoric rise at the Imperial Court will come to an abrupt end. Which is wonderful from my perspective. I'm not interested in reviving the Lodge if I'm not to have the deciding vote. You're telling me this because... If I know even one bit, I expect that once we've defeated the Wild Hunt, you aim to slip out the back door with Ciri. To disappear into the wilds, correct? All very romantic. But perhaps instead of destroying the girl's life, you could take Yennefer with you and go. You want to take Yen's place beside Amir? You want to take Yen's place at Amir's side. And at Ciri's. I think you understand it's inevitable. And I would truly prefer Yennefer to be far away when it happens. Holding her in the Imperial Dungeon would be costly. And it would give the wrong impression. Hmm. I mean, obviously it's like... I don't really agree with Philippa being in that big position of power. What would be cool, imagine if we'd had Dijkstra become the King of the North type thing, and then um, Philippa had been his advisor. I'm sure he wouldn't have been cool with that. Well, you, you never know. But that would have been kind of fun. Any other words of wisdom, or can we go? You may go. I know you have things to do. I shall find my own way back. Well, I do want to have a little bit of a look around. I, um, it depends. I don't want to get led sort of directly out, but I'd like to have a little look around first. Maybe this is just going to take me straight out. It looks like it is. I, as I said, I can always come back here if I really need to. I think this is the way we came in before, right? We have been here before. Like, we fought all the guards up here, I think. It was when I was coughing quite a bit. Pfft. So, that's the memories I have of it. Um, I was looking for the markers, I think. So, I'm pretty sure I've looted this. I feel like I have really looted this cave bear. I think there might be in a few places, maybe. Like, I, yeah, if I, I think I... Yeah, I have been here because I looted that and that. I think. And that. Yeah. Oh, no, no. I haven't looted that one. Or, or maybe I have, it just lit up for some reason. God damn it, game. Why must you why must you taunt me? Okay. So it lights up for some reason. I think I must have looted though. I dunno, that was confusing. It definitely lit up. I'm gonna have to watch that back. Um But for now we'll leave here, we'll get that marker, then we're gonna go and let Avalok know everything's ready, and then that's the final battle. God guys. Really getting there. No, I have explored all this. I know I have. I, I was here for a long time. Okay. At least up the upper section, you know? I can always go back down la later on, as I said. I've said that like five times now, but I'm just... I'm sort of reiterating it to myself, you know? To, to <laughs> get that to memory, if necessary. Uh, right, okay, yeah, we're out. Yeah, yeah, we have been here before. Right, well, I'm going to go and do this marker. I will tell you when I'm there, I guess. Okay, here they are. Right, we're going to get the oil on straight away. Right, last Skelliger marker. 
I should be. Yeah, I can do this now. I haven't really fought many gargoyles. God damn it. Kill the other one first. I was just willing to take that hit then. Right, we'll get the heal. I'm gonna try not use so many potions in the final battle, because I... You know, I don't want Geralt to have potion face. Um, tell you what, I might just drop some of these terrible swords. Right, amazing. Final marker done. That should be every single Skelliger marker done. I don't think there is even, like, ones that I can't do yet type thing left. I think they're just all done now, right? Well, if I forget one, I can always do it down the line. I think, I think that's everything. I can't see anything else. I am doing, like, a fairly quick scan, but I'm checking all the little aisles out and stuff. Pretty sure that's every Skelliger marker. Is that, that something there? No. Yeah, I think we did everything. Amazing! Right, let's go and tell Avalok. Okay, Avalok, I'm here. It's time for the final battle. I think I've done every conversation I can. I'm just gonna check if there's anything extra. Everything appears to be just the right. the, the other conversations. Geralt. Yeah, Yennefer, I'm gonna miss all you guys. You know, we don't get to see any of you again. Pa, I guess, Yennefer. Yes, Geralt? Oh, she's wearing her earrings. So long, Triss. Oh, God. I mean, Margarita and Fringilla and all the rest. Oh, look, they're and all up here. Truly, you could do nothing at all for six whole months. Why don't you tell me about the Emperor? He's apparently become terribly attached to you. Philippa? What? Want to crack her? Oh, for the... for being the uh, owl thing. What do you want? Farewell. Farewell. Yeah, for six months she didn't help, oh, like, Fringilla yes, or anyone. Don't. She just was an owl. So long. Was she stuck? Oh, I guess maybe they're talking about how she was stuck as an yeah. owl for so long. God. Farewell. Imagine being stuck as, like, polymorphed into an animal for, for months. Right, okay. Avalok, it's time. Trust, I like your earrings. Yes, Geralt? Oh, I can actually ask all this stuff. Cool. Margarita any better? I managed to accelerate tissue regeneration. She's feeling much better. In fact, we must bring Eridin here as soon as possible. Otherwise, I'm afraid these sorceresses of yours will start fighting amongst themselves. Okay, went by a laboratory. Went by your laboratory. I trust you did not make a mess. Didn't mention you were the NL Elves' chief source of knowledge about Ciri's abilities. I didn't mention many things. Fortunately, they're no longer important. Your experiments with the gene, Elder Blood, that's not important. I pursued those studies to protect Ciri. To protect Lara Doran's blood in whomever's veins it courses. Uh, I mean, you did, um... You did try and cultivate a specific elven line of it. Okay, ran into someone at your lab. Maybe this is all about Lara for you. I believe you. Ooh, which one do I want to say? I want to say about the Lara thing. I'm more interested in that, I think. So maybe you're hoping to gain control of Lara herself after all these years? Lara is dead. My only hope is that Ciri will fulfill her calling and survive. Hmm. Say we use the Sunstone. What then? Once we use the Sunstone, what makes you think Aridin won't figure things out? I doubt he'll think the Elves of the White Fleet suddenly long to see him. We can alter the signal emitted by the Sunstone. Unlikely Eredin will recognize its origin. It's not the only artifact to possess this power. There are others? Great. Now mind telling me why I had to scour Skellige looking for this one? The Sunstone was the easiest to find, believe me. Hmm. Soon Siri won't need your help anymore. Yeah. From the look of things, pretty soon Siri won't need your help anymore. Nor yours. True. She'll do whatever she wants, and I'll support her. What about you? Ready to let her live her own life? I shan't force her to do anything, if that's your question. 
technically didn't force her to sleep with the king, just just heavily blackmailed. <laughs> never, they never said, okay, if you don't do it, I'm gonna, you know, you're staying here forever. But um, right, okay, right. Charming. This what the I guess this is stuff I could have asked Avalok. Or maybe I haven't. I swear I did ask him this, but you know what? I'll do it just in case. If, if you want to skip to when I do this one, then go ahead. Charming world you and have got. Could easily fall in love with the place. Tell me, how do you do it? Sit around playing flute, painting rutting unicorns in gorgeous landscapes, building ornately sculpted towers? And then you murder us, without batting an eye, without a hint of guilt. How? Do you humans feel guilt when you murder Enshe elves? Or dwarves? Or dryads, we are the same, simply because we both firmly believe others are inferior. Yeah, I guess not every human feels that that way about killing and shake, etc. The uh, vast, uh, I'd say probably the majority seem that way though. Um, Caranthia, tell me about him. Tell me something more about Caranthia. Know him well? Know him? I reared him. Raised, don't you mean? No, Geralt. I began shaping him long before he was born. For centuries, I brought together pairs of elves manifesting certain abilities, those able to manipulate time and space. He is the result of these efforts. Caranthia, a golden child. Golden child who grew up to be a criminal. Hmm. Why are you helping Siri? Final thing. You imprisoned Siri the first time you met her. Now you protect her while fighting against your own kind. Quite an about face. First of all, I did not imprison her. She found me. It was her destiny. Yeah, sure. Get to the second of all. Why are you helping her? Because she is a danger. A mortal one. You look at her and see a human. A ward. A daughter, even. I look and see the Elder Blood. A power that can destroy the world. A power that must be kept from Eredin's power-addled hands at all costs. Admittedly, our motives differ. Yet in spite of that, we share a goal. So you would be wise to trust me. Or at least try. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, right. Everything's ready. We can go to Unvik. We found the Sunstone. Gelban's gift to Dillion of the White Fleet. As legend has it, she never used the stone and Gelban died of sorrow. Won't keep Aridin waiting that long. It seems we've everything. We can go. Keep in mind, once we commit, there'll be no returning. I've taken care of everything. Ready when you are. I'm ready. High time we set sail. Undvik awaits. In that case, let's go. You will position yourselves on the cliffs. Here, here, and... Thank you. I believe we know how to form a circle. Even those of us who lack eyes for the moment. I simply wish to avoid... Oh, Geralt. We were waiting for you. How nice. <laughs> really? Looks like you started without me. <laughs> uh, hang on. Yeah, just making sure. Right. Oh, guys, we're here. See Fringilla, or Fringilla, whatever. I like her outfit because it's very... You can... You know the, uh, the sort of straps on her? They remind me of The Witcher 2. You see the sort of... You can sort of see it right now, actually. Um, you know, the Witcher 2 Sorceress straps. Right, really? Looks like you started without me. How oh, nice. Um... <laughs> I guess I would... That is... I kind of want to say how nice. No? Yeah. Really? Seems to me you'd started already. We were discussing questions of a magic nature. Nothing of great interest to you. Right. Because I'm just a simple witcher. Don't worry. Simplicity has a charm all its own. You were about to explain your plan? It's simple. Which does not mean it will be easy to execute. I shall activate the Sunstone. If Caranthia answers the call, 
The Nagel Fair should appear in the bay shortly afterwards. The Lodge must then prevent the ship from returning to the world of the NL, while the Imperial fleet blocks its escape by sea. The 7th Imlet's Infantry Regiment under Duke Varatra must then board it. With your help, naturally. Emir's not stingy? And you? What are you gonna do? Uh, I don't wanna- I don't wanna be constantly confrontational to Avalok. Um, yeah, we'll just- we'll do- yeah, you know what. Wow. Emir's being generous with his resources. He's halted his entire Skellige campaign to help us. Not doing it just to be nice, believe me. He's doing it for the same reason we all are. Ladies and gentlemen, less talk, more action, please. Sisters, we must scale the cliffs. Good luck. Plan's missing one important element. What about Siri? Cyril will wait, at a safe distance from the Nagel Fair. Wise, guessing this wasn't Siri's idea. Yeah, I'm gonna say that. You know what, why not? Wild guess. Not what you had in mind. No, I wanted to go with you. That was my idea. But I won't allow it. Far too great a risk. Can't say you're wrong. Got no right to give her orders. See, guys, this, the problem I have is that if I had to be completely honest, I would be completely agreeing with Avalark here. And it's not because I don't think Siri can't fight and all this other stuff. I, the reason why is just because if they get her, they win. <laughs> it's like capture the flag. It's like, it's the difference between thinking, you know what? I'm gonna- I'm gonna leave my flag at base. I think, and you know what? I'm gonna go into the, you know, a pile of enemies alone with the flag. Uh, it, it's just, you know, and I know Siri's more than a flag and she can fight and all the rest, but I think you get the idea, right? If they get her, they win, and then it's all over. So I would agree, but... <sighs> you know what? I don't care. Siri, scowl at me all you want. He's not wrong. I don't care. Well... Can't say you're wrong there. <laughs> I thought I could at least count on you to treat me seriously. Never treat you any other way, you know that. You can't defeat Eridan. Don't stand a chance. Damn it, I don't know if I can. So stay away from him, far away. Cyril, do you swear to stay on shore? Do I have a choice? Where are you going? For a walk. Or is that not allowed either? Because I could break my leg. Oh yes. The Elder Blood can be fiery. It's, it's nothing about her being, like, inept or anything like that. I feel like that's how Siri's taking it. It's literally just because it would be the same if it was literally any other character. You know, it's like... If they get you, they win. We gotta, we gotta, you know, even though you don't need protecting and all that, we gotta protect you, okay? Look, because if they get you, they win. Right, got a personality from her father. She didn't sound convinced. Uh, I don't know about that, right? Didn't sound convinced. No. But I can't very well tie her up and teleport her away, can I? Hmm. Definitely advise against trying that. Time is short. If you wish to do something, brew your substances or whatnot, do it now. You won't get the chance later. I shall await you by the boats amongst the soldiers. Yen, why are you here? To see you. Something happened? Not yet, but it might soon. We may not survive this. In fact, our chances are slim. Don't worry, it'll be all right. True, things could get rough. Try not to panic. Uh, I'll be all right. We got this. We've come a long way, and I'll be damned if we've come to fail. It'll be all right. I admire your optimism. Wish I shared it. Listen to me. Once it's over, 
If we survive, I wish to leave, go far away, and I'd like you to come with me. Where? Wherever. To Povis, beyond the Dragon Mountains, Zeracania even. As far as possible from politics, plots, and so-called high society. I think I know a place. You dropping politics, that'll be the day start. No, of course I'll go, but this first. You dropping plots and politics for good? You're in your element in that world. It's your life. Time to start anew. I'll believe it when I see it. Even now you're up to your neck in it. Yes, but only to set matters straight. To be able to withdraw having retained the upper hand. What then? A small secluded hut with a flower garden to tend to? Why not, if that is what you dream of? We shall leave together. Go where we please. Do whatever strikes our fancy. So? Coming with? Oh, of course I am, Yennefer. You know, I'm just sat here thinking now, and I, I know a lot of people... You know, I'm not going to say anything, like, negative or whatever, but I know a lot of people think that Yennefer... I, I have seen this, you guys might actually be very surprised, but a lot of comments about how Yennefer didn't have much of a character in the books or the games, and she's just Geralt's, like, whatever, but look look at her. She's an amazing character. I, 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 I think Yennefer is an amazing character. I, of course I'll go Yennefer. We got this. I'd go anywhere with you. The answer I was hoping for. Go, Geralt. Avalak awaits. And don't get killed, Witcher. Guys, we're almost there. First thing, set it today. <laughs> Just because I don't know, I don't know if you you end up fighting at night or something. Right. Okay. Oh, God. Right. We're just gonna loot quickly. Let's get everything. All of this shall be mine. Even the empty bottles. God. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna make any more potions. I, I think I've got this. I don't think it'll be too tough. What's this book? Don't really need it. Um. I saw you need a ear corpse as diary. So you did. Okay, guys. Um, I can't actually loot out there, or then they will try and kill me. So we're just gonna, just gonna not do that. I can loot in here though. I think this is fine. You know what? The way I see it, this is our tent. Goddamn elf guardians! How dare they! Right, okay. That's all I can loot. Oh, and this sack. Right, okay. Let's go and see Avalok. I guess now's the time. I don't need to make anything else. Um, I guess equip what I need. That's, this is all I need. I'll, all I need is Swallow and uh, Tawny Owl. That, that's the two potions that I use. I will, I promise, guys, I'll do more in the... Um, this is that This is that Skelligan village on Unvake. Oh wow, they've like fully Nilfgaard counted up. This is cool. Flags everywhere. I guess it was an abandoned isle, right? Until we got rid of the giant. Okay, look, we're gonna start this now. Guys, you ready? Final fight of the game. Final fight of the Witcher 3. A whole year of playing through this. Let's do it. So, Geralt. Ready? Let's do it. Let's get these bastards. With pleasure, Geralt. With pleasure. I give you my heart? What kind of spell is that? It's an old love letter. Ancient. As I said, this stone was to reunite a pair of lovers. Never thought I'd say anything of the sort to Eredin. En verilith serenad, ede eich blaine, ede may.
The elven bauble worked. They approach. Follow me. The knuckle fair must be nearby. Not this time. No, Cyril. You are not ready. You do not control your powers. I'll manage. Silly. Get out of my way. Silly! The ice. It's a spell. You must find the mage who cast it. Destroy his staff. I'll not stop with his staff. Let's do this. Final battle. Oh, Siri. You've, you're going crazy. Oh, my God. It's very loud. Oh. Ready? Oh my god! Oh my god, Siri! Okay, I don't think I can actually take damage. This is incredible. Right, let's get him. Oh, there he is, Caranthia. It's time. You got nothing on me, Caranthia. You got nothing. Thank you. 
Almost, Sira. Almost. Skjothyard. So be it. Let us end this. Let us end this, Karanthia. Okay. I know this fight. I can do this. Oh, your fight, God. We got this. I think I have elemental oil, so that might do more. Oh. oh god, there's more of these things spawning. Should I deal with these? I'm not gonna bother with the oil, guys. I wanna make this a challenge. Oh Christ. You cannot win. Even should you kill me. So to get to him. Guys, I'm sorry, I'm not saying anything. I'm just I'm just enjoying this fight. Ugh. I love the Karantia fight. So Okay, let's swim. We defeated Karanthia, guys. First try, nothing went wrong there, we did it. God, I didn't even use any potions, I made a note of it. I didn't want to have a um, potion face during that cutscene. Okay, whew. And I think we got a full health restore, amazing. I don't want to burn in this fire. I'll try and get to there, I think.
Okay, we're here. Let's go. Fuck her now! Not a chance! Have you seen Siri? She was with your help! Your mud cut through their plate. Too thick. Push her in the sea! Right. We're, we're just gonna run through. We'll let them deal with the wild hunt. Oh god, this is this is this is Ted Deer. <laughs> oh Christ. Who's next? Who wants to taste Skellige Steel? Kilma! Kilmar's fighting. Okay, keep going. We're gonna get there to the Nargle Fair. Oh my god. Right, I think we're here. I was hoping you'd come. Because? I've something to tell you. But I'll do so afterwards. As you expire. Right, Eridan, let's go. Spins, pirouettes, and fakes. I want to watch. You want to see full god mode? Let's do it, Eridan. I want to try and parry him, but I, I don't think that's going to be a possibility. This feels a bit cheaty. Right. This is for Croc. I should have used his blade he gave me. Sadly, it was terrible. Okay, Aridin. The whole game. That means anything? Okay, okay, fair enough. Hmm. Damn it, Aridin. <laughs> so defensive. <laughs> I don't even want to try and parry him. I feel like it's just fun, more fun to just do this, you know, sneak in a bit. It's good to sort of faint a bit, you know. So you, you go for it and then you go back, you know? So you, you go in, you go back, you go in, then you go back, then you go in, you go back, okay, hang on. I'm gonna get you, Aridin. That's what it's all been for, Aridin. No more chasing Siri. 
Oh shit. shit. Geralt, you, you, we had the exact same thought. Okay. Come on, Aerodin. Fight me, come on. What do you mean? You just defend if I come over. Come on, you. Almost got him. God damn it, Aridin. I just like to hit him as quickly as possible, not go for the back on those ones, because I think it, it blocks his ability a bit, you know? Like, I can get it. I, one doesn't spawn on me when I'm right next to him. Okay. I'll do it with this one, though. How about that? I'm not going to use any potions. Come on, I've almost got him. Almost got him. Almost got him. I mean, when we defeat him, guys, Siri's safe. That's all I'm thinking. Death March Aerodin. Almost there. See, that's why I normally don't go for the back. Luckily, my Quen's pretty good. <laughs> Not bad. there. And Caridon. Got him. Alvalag has tricked us both. He set us against each other, and he's made off with Cerula. I don't believe you.
thought you knew. All I know is Avalok might have betrayed us. What the? That a storm? Geralt, look! Expect. What are we going to find there? If the tomes are to be believed, nature's laws will cease to hold. Gravity, time, Undvik, all of it will be turned on its head. Exaggerating for effect, right? Not one bit. The conjunction of spheres has begun. The worlds, they're aligned, permeate one another. Avalar could use this. Bring the NL here, or something far worse. At least we know where Siri is. At least we know where to look for Siri. Mm. Follow me and stay alert. Okay, Yennefer, let's go. Whew. We need to focus on Siri. What do you think Avalok wants from her? Same as Eredin, I imagine. He will use her to open a gate between the worlds. Oh, Shit. God. An earthquake? We must hurry. North Guardian soldiers? Damn it! That ship's about to disintegrate! Hide in the hollow on the other side. Go! Shit! came to this place all that time ago. Christ, look at it now. Just 
dismantle it? Dismantle? No, I can make a tear at best. But only for a moment, because there's no... Specifics yet. Will we both get through? No. You must go alone. I'll come back. With Siri. I know. Agared! Jirgig! Agared! Right, let's go. Let's go and get Avalok. Make a save. Oh, I can't make a save. <laughs> I just wanna, just so I have a save here. Right, amazing. Right, we're gonna go and get him. Oh my god, it's like the world is ending around us. There's meteorites going off everywhere. God. Right, let's go and get him. God damn it, Avalok. Oh my god. There he is. Geralt. So unfortunate. I'd hoped you wouldn't have to witness this. Where's Siri? Nearby. Listen. Shut up. I've heard enough of your bullshit. Draw your weapon. Let's get this over with. Not falling for that. Think I'll spare you? Think I'm willing to spare you? I think you will not attack one unarmed. Wouldn't be so sure. I'm in a foul mood. I am not your foe. I am merely helping Cirilla. I don't believe you. Can't. Not after all that's happened. Will you believe me? Avalok speaks the truth. I asked him to help me open the tower. Because I aim to enter it. Why would you do that? Didn't think to warn me? I guess, yeah, didn't think to warn me, but why? Why? Why the hell would you do this? The Wild Hunt's been defeated. The White Frost has not. The prophecies are true. I have seen worlds bound in ice. I know what awaits you. Only the Elder Blood can stop the White Frost. Only I can stop it. I don't care, let's go. You don't have to make the sacrifice, there's no annihilation coming. Avalok's put nonsense in your head. <sighs> yeah, you, yeah, I guess that's the best one, right? You don't have to make this sacrifice. You're wrong. The White Frost is inevitable. It will come to freeze the worlds one after the other, eradicating all life. Only I can stop the destruction. I've given it much thought and made my decision. There's gotta be another way. What can you know about saving the world, silly? You're but a witcher. This is my story, not yours. You must let me finish telling it. I forbid it, Siri, I forbid it. Don't do this, please. Good luck. I think we gotta say good luck. Good luck, Siri. Perhaps I should have told you. I see now you might have understood. Know you better than you think. Don't keep me waiting.
The gentleman will follow. Yep, let's follow. Salvation from sin. Captain! Report! The Novigrad delegation is half a day's travel from here. They truly are Russian. Return to your post. Yes, sir. Hmm, wonder if that has anything to do with a uh, roach tolerance. This I'm sure. No good can come of religious fanaticism. My husband's gone grey as well. What of Novigrad's hierarchy? <gasps> What of him? Will he get his will-earned rest, or be sent straight to Dan Ruach? At his age, the journey would be ill-advised, and costly. Hmm. Yes? You sound a lot like... Well, he sounds a lot like Morvran. I'm listening, Sarah. Just checking if there's any conversations I can have here. Oh, there's Morvran. Do you find Durgoff? Oh, yes. He was talking to some friends of my father. Poor chaps can't get their minds off politics, not for an instant. I truly hope they'll allow themselves some respite after the coronation. Hmm. Okay, we'll see you later. Farewell. Gods preserve ye. My <sighs> husband's gone grey as well. Politics. So They've this is the map. Them. Okay, Lost they're still minds. invading. <laughs> right, well I guess we'll go and see... Um. And Mia. Karen Vatgan, Bakelm. His Imperial Majesty awaits. Enough. Speak. Siri is dead. How did it happen? The white cold. You're familiar with the prophecy? Siri tried to stop it. She did, but paid the ultimate price. Where is the body? I doubt it'll ever be found. Who else knows? Avalach, Elven Sage. But I doubt you'll find him either. And Yennefer? She's decided to stay in the north. Provided you don't object. I don't. And you? Post-war work to do. None of your business. Well, I'm just going to say post-war work to do, I guess. Plenty of work for witchers after a war. I'll travel east, maybe north. Did Cyrilla say... Did she ask you to convey anything? Regretted not being able to say goodbye. You weren't a good father. Didn't talk about you. She technically didn't talk about him. I don't want to be mean, but I feel like, you know, he's not getting Siri, I think. The nice thing, nicest thing I can possibly do for Amir is just to uh, make him have some sort of happiness here, you know? She regretted not getting a chance to say goodbye. Did she tell you this? Really? Didn't have to. She wanted to make peace. I know that. If there's nothing else... There is, but you may go. Witcher! I do not wish to see you... ever again.
Need help with your wagon? I think we'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, you betcha. We'll manage. True, the barrels are ample, but we shall pour some off of each soon. Change is coming. True. No denying it. Nilfgaard flees, yet here it seemed nothing could move them. Left their wine behind too. That's generous. Sure you don't need help? Gotta go. Farewell. Yeah, sure you don't need help. Sure you don't need any help? I believe we will manage. Where are you headed? Nearest inn by the looks of it. Yeah. Supposed to meet someone first, at the former campsite of the Nilf Guardians. You take care now. Okay. Back to where it all began. Classic Velen music. Let's go! You know what? We'll ride the whole way. There's a merchant over there. Hello. Should just check if he has anything good. The North Guardians are running. Greetings! You know what? While we're here, why not? Want some of these terrible swords. Boom. Okay. Farewell. Thank you. Right, let's go and uh, go to the Rune Fortress. Come on. Remember this from the from the uh, well. We're not even in Velen now. I think about it. We're in White Orchard, literally where it all began. Right here, where we uh, I guess originally met Gaunter, where we came with Vesemir, who's gone now. Where we did the Griffin contract, got the Book Thorn, met Tamara. Wonder how let's she's go. doing actually. We should uh, we should try and go back to her. Where is her house again? Suppose we can go and try and see Tamoya and everyone else later on. I do know there Break is a um. Will, or will you stay to welcome hey Robert's there. Hmm. I su sorry, I was going to say, but um, there is a quest. Well, we can go back to the village where we did the uh, gate hunting and get a drawing. But I think I'll Place do that in uh, Hearts of Stone. Should draw from it. Ah, uh, we've already done that one. Back to the bridge where I couldn't get the quest. Do you all remember? I believe there is a Move it. quest somewhere here. It's around here, I think. Have a look. We'll head towards the fortress. Hey, you never know. Maybe, maybe in this version of the game, I can get the the uh, the final marker. Let's have a quick last look. Well, Faster. I had one last look. Who knows? Maybe we'll clear that one eventually. <laughs> Don't know what is going on there. Uh, Slow now. Shade the, the Witcher. That's the dwarf that left me on the Isle of Mists. Well, one of them. Let's have a look. Footprints. A dwarf's. Right. Damn, you're ugly. Ah, uh, found them. All right, out. How was your trip? Smooth sailing? You still on about that leaky tub from the Isle of Mist? <laughs> You're lucky you and that lass weren't in it with us. You'd not have fit anyhow. We were so late in that boat, we barely made land. And it reeked of fish manure. You stole my boat. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You stole my boat. Borrowed. We knew it was yours. Still is. You don't think we'd do that to a mate like you. Plow you soapless while you slept off a bender. <sighs> oh, that's good. 
So, gonna give me my boat back? Why in the gods' names would you need a boat in this brush? Fair enough. Forget I said anything. What are you doing here? How'd you wind up here? Our affairs brought us here. Hard times, you know. Got to earn the coin where you can. Folk around here need surveyors? We've shifted our efforts. Investors now. Investors. They've come for us. Hide! Huh? What's going on? You've not seen us? Where are the dwarves? Dwarves? Do not play games with me, Witcher. They are thieves. They stole Lord Dagborg's golden chalice. Dagborg? Who's that? The new governor of these lands. The chalice must be found. Tell us what you know, or you will force us to extract it. No dwarves here. You threatening me? I'm just going to say there's no dwarves here, you know? Police of Powers, come back on again. <laughs> right. No dwarves here. Will you insist this is your camp? Five cups, five shadows, all yours. Been tracking these dwarves for a while. About two days ahead of me now. Abandoned this camp in a hurry. Something must have scared them. Why do you follow them? They stole from me. Clever little bastards to steal from a witcher. We must go. Should you catch them? Well, oh, never mind. We march tomorrow. Oh, thank you for that, Witcher. I told the lads back then you're a good fella, and we shouldn't have took your boat. Heard you've gone into investments. Asset management. Aye, aye. Investments in movable assets. Well, these days you just never know when... That extra gold chalice could come in handy. I get it. What did you do with it? Uh, we don't have it. Found a buyer. Mr. Mirrorly, was it? Funny name. Paid good coin, though. We'd share it with you, we would, but but you look like one who just frown in any proceeds from theft. Aye, you got that righteous frown on you, definitely. I think maybe Master Mirror, maybe not Mr. Mirror Reed. <laughs> Ew, interesting, huh? Since you insist, I'll take the coin. Don't worry, I don't want your coin. You know, I'm taking that coin. Won't say no to friends. Actually, I'll gladly take some of that coin. Witcher's ethics. <laughs> World's going to shite. At least we nicked his dinghy. Thank you for the money. No, I'm 100% taking the money. They stole my boat. I stuck up for them. I'll take the money. And you know what? It's quite a bit of money. So I'm happy. I, I would have helped them anyway. Oh, God. That is that is a reference to the next expansion if ever I've heard one. It's got to be, right? Mr. Mirrory? He literally called himself Master Mirror as well. In the, uh, even before Hearts of Stone. They definitely had that planned for a very long time, you can tell. Right. Well, let's go and get this um, chalice, I guess. Remember, I think this is where I started The Witcher Part 2. I think this, this exact bit I'm coming up to now. This signpost right here. And I went and uh, saw the guy. Can't remember his name now. <laughs> At all. <laughs> but he was up here, the North Guardian Commander. Right. Master Ort. <sighs> Probably got held back. You're late. Soldiers. Blocking the roads, I know. No matter. You have it? As agreed. 38 and a half inch blade. Weight, just under 40 ounces. Silver-plated siderite steel core. Glyphs and runes, both the length of the blade and on the hilt. Beautiful. Been in this trade for three decades. Only the best swordsman of the coin for my wares. When I say no witcher has, or ever had a better weapon. You ought to trust me. Reputation precedes you, Master Ort. I'd never doubt you. The inscription, as you asked. Zirel, the flash that cuts. Oh, it's gotta be Zirel. Zirel. Swallow. 
Classic elder speech runes, no styling, simple and precise. May I? It is yours. If you'd like to test it, had my lackeys put out a training dummy. Mm-hmm. Your payment. Gems only, as requested. If you've an eye out for work, heard a striggers prowl in the Maribor forest. Thanks. Need to visit the tavern first, but after, who knows? Good luck on the path, Witcher. A strigger, huh? Oh, we can finally loot this place. Incredible. No one's gonna see. I'll have it all. God. It's very I think he was called um Peter. Peter something. Peter Gwen Gwenleith? Gwenlever? Something like that? I think his middle name was like Saar. Peter Saar Gwenlever or Gwenleith or Gwen Gwenlith. One of one of those Nilfgaardian names, you know? I don't think I even looted this place when I first came here. That shows the growth, you know? We've gone from not loot up, oh, but we've gone from not looting anything to freaking everything. Well, I think I did always loot stuff, but um, I was just less on it. Oh, that's where the guy was being tortured, right? It was in here somewhere. Oh, yep, Kate, okay, yep, imagine it wasn't here. Um, God, we never got to properly look around here. I guess it was all locked when the Nilf Guardians had it. I hear a... Oh, they're down there, okay. God, this is where they were torturing people then. Let's have a look. Just check if there's anything. Doesn't really look like it, does it? There's a door down there. We can always come back here. You know, it's not the end, guys. Hearts of Stone, Blood and Wine. It's just the end of the base game. This is what originally shipped. Oh, I see something down there. Should I have a look? Can I get down there? I'm gonna try that door. Oh, I can get there. Um, I'll, I'll, whoops, I'll climb over. Where there's a, where there's an opening, there's a way. Try our best. Aha! Uh -huh. That looks like something I can break. Whew. Okay. Found something. Ah. A Vryhead Brigade Sword. A key. Nice. I knew I knew there'd be some way to get there. And I think that's other than this stuff, pretty much everything. Just get the rest of this, and then we're gonna go to the inn. Where it says we need to head next. Well, that's basically all the supplies. Something here. Right. I think that's pretty much everything. We never have to come back here again. Uh, if I can get that, I'm gonna check just above here because you never know. Ooh. And I, I think that's everything, guys. I think we, I think we got it all. Right. I said to the inn. I'm gonna ride the whole way. I'm not even gonna use the. The fast travel. I'm, I don't even know if I can, to be honest. But I'm gonna ride the whole way just to see. Is this some Nilf Guardians? Oh no, it's just normal people there. Oh, here he is. If you can't stand the heat, get out of the forge. What Master now? Witcher, over here. Plenty of blades to try, if it's your will. Huh. Any tidings from Vizima? So this is like his crew of people. I'm sure I can um loot these. You know, they're not guards. Okay. Roach. Oh, you're inside. Okay. I'm, I'll just start walking. <laughs> I'm sure Roach will catch on. Come on. Come on. 
Okay, there she is. Hey -ya. Right, let's head to the inn. I'm not going to cut it. I'm just going to do the full journey through this amazing world. We're in White Orchard, where it all began. As I was saying earlier, there's always... It, the game brings you back to every area, one way or another, towards the end of the game. Novigrad, Skellige, Velen... So I guess Novigrad and Velen are kind of the sort of same, right? Um, and now we're in White Orchard. The very end prologue. If we'd done a different ending, we would have had the prologue all snowy. We could have had a completely different pro prologue involving a crone. But this is the one we've got. And you guys are going to see how it unfolds if you've never done it before. Or um, even if you have done it before, I guess, you know, we've all been on this journey together and we're finally here. Game's done. Come on. Or base game. We march in two hours. Any man not standing ready in full outfit will be considered a deserter. You have grown lazy, shit heels, drinking your Temerian wheat beer. I shall remind you what it means. The Imperial Army marching. Run, Roach. Well, this is all because of the deal that um, Tala, Roach, etc. made with Amir. They're now pulling out of Temeria. Let's go. They, own, they now have control over Temeria, but it'll be its own... It's sort of like Tucson. Its own rules, its own governs, its own laws, all the rest. But by the grace of Nilfgaard type thing. Come on, Roach. No, no, like, real, real power, you know? Just, just its own self-governing little kingdom within the Empire. Talk. I will come back for you, I promise. Yes, if only you've done half what you promised. I'll come back and take you to Nilfgaard. You were to stay here. Well, Roach, it's been great spending spending this game with you. But we still have two more expansions wow, together, my friend. And protector. The noble Lord Dagborg assumes these lands to rule with grace and justice. Debts, burdens, and encumbrances owed to any other Black are hereby thought they'd stay here forever. <laughs> it means you must pay taxes to the noble Lord Dagborg now. This Lord Dagborg, who is he? Some relation of the noble we had before. How am I to know? Ooh. <laughs> well, guys, should we head into the inn? Oh, 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 God. No idea who their new lord is, really. I don't think they're ever... I don't think they necessarily come up later on. Roach, see you later, friend. I'm actually just curious. Bow before your new lord. And protector. The noble lord Dagbo oh, yeah. assumes his lands to rule with grace yes, and justice. Yes, for us, yes. Black Bird and Satis. Oh, Marians. Longer. <laughs> You're a hero and all mine, lucky me. Laugh if you will, but were it not for your Gordek returning and driving them Nilf guardians off, <laughs> might have been some Kahir of your hand that would have made off with your maidenhead. You, you waited for me, my little manny, didn't ya? I did, I did. <laughs> 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 they talked about Kakir. Well, they used the, the, the name. Are these roaches old men, do you think? I think they were part of his thing. Oh, Temerians. Oh, have they changed the... Have they hung back up the Nilfgaardian... Sorry, the Temerian lilies? Can't really see. Right, let's go. Is it done? Yes. Did he believe you? I have no idea. For the cockatrice. And we the new contract. It won't pay much, but I think it worth the toil. You've been busy. It's yours.
A witcher's sword. Swallow. Ooh, beautiful. May I? Not here. You'll have ample opportunity soon enough, Witcher. Let's try it out then. The Third Northern War ended. The invader from the south achieved complete victory. Robbed of Radovid's tactical genius, the Northern Realms could not withstand Emir's countless legions. Black banners appeared over Novigrad and all Redania. Weary of rebel raids, Emir Varemris conceded, restoring Temeria as a realm in liege to the Empire. When the guerrillas laid down their arms, the Emperor shifted his forces to other fronts. Through Nilfgaard's victory, the Marians got their country back, and history once again proved a consummate trickster. Having dealt with Radovid, Emir of Vardemris did the same with enemies domestic. The Emperor's loyal spies named all who had conspired against him, traitors, soldiers, and aristocrats alike. Though their mutiny had only been a murky plan, the Emperor showed no mercy as was his wont. While the continent bled engulfed by war, Skellica bloomed under Ceres's enlightened rule. Unlike those who had come before her, the young queen did not raid foreign shores, looking instead to her people, tending to her land. The island-bound nation prospered, though its fangs of yore were dulled. Cyrilla, Fiona, Ellen, Rhiannon, heir to Nilfgaard's throne, chose the life of a witcher on the path. Geralt taught her all he knew, every skill he possessed, then each set off on their own. Soon word of the ashen-haired witcheress had spread throughout the north, from the Yaruga to the mountains of Kovir. While monarchs moved borders and populations, Geralt and Yennefer lived a calm, quiet life, far from all things political. They breakfasted well after noon, more often than not in bed, and pass the days on lazy strolls and long conversations. Boring, you say? Perhaps. But both had sought this more than anything else. Well, guys, there we go. Base game of The Witcher 3 complete. Oh, I mean, we did it. We did it. I'm going to get my phone right now. I'm going to check the exact date I first uploaded a Witcher 3 part. Because, oh my god, has it been a long old journey, guys. It has been a very, very long old journey. But it's not done yet, guys. We still have the expansions. We still have Hearts of Stone, Blood and Wine, which I would say is arguably maybe the best Witcher content, or some of the best Witcher content from the games. I think Blood and Wine for sure, and Hearts of Stone, honestly, it's all amazing. There is some incredible stuff coming up, some incredible villains, new characters getting re- well, not really new characters, but to the game's new characters, getting reintroduced, like Regis, Gaunter, Olgird, you know, we're, we're, we're gonna get- we're gonna get all this amazing stuff. Anna Henrietta, I mean, just so many. Detlef, I mean, you, you guys know, and if you don't know, you're going to find out soon, because I'm going to play it, and we're going to get it all done. I mean, God, guys. To finish the Witcher 3 base game with all the markers done, pretty much, part of the ones I can't do are Hearts of Stone. Ah, uh, after the storm. I first uploaded a Witcher 3 part on the 31st of October 2018, which means I probably recorded it a few days before, but uh, yeah, it is now, as of recording this, the 9th of April 2020. That's how long I've been playing The Witcher 3. And should, um, do you know what else I'm going to do, guys? Because this is not just The Witcher 3. 
This is also The Witcher 1 and 2, which I've, you know, I carried my save from The Witcher 1 to 2. I did my decisions from The Witcher 2 and The Witcher 3, and that's been this Geralt the whole time. And now we've finished all of the games, obviously still got the expansions, but all the main stories, which is amazing. My Witcher 1 series, um, my part 1 for that came out, let's have a look here. That would have been a very long time ago now. That came out. 6th of March, 2018. That is now over two years ago. Two years and a month. Well, yeah, two years and a month. It's the ninth today, so two years, a month, and three days. That's how long ago we recorded The Witcher 1. A lot has happened since then. You know, the channel's obviously come a long way since then, just in general, and, um... I think, I think, you know, I've come a long way since then. And uh, I've done that whole journey through YouTube and everything else through playing these games at the same time. And I've been so glad to do it. I've been so glad to do it. It's amazing seeing this end screen with all the, uh, you know, all the little art. You know, we've got um, Doodoo there with Junior and Junior dead and all the rest because we killed Junior, obviously. And uh, Dudu took him over. There's so many other decisions that obviously it doesn't show at the very end of the game. But uh, you guys, if you've watched it, you'll know. You'll know what we did. What the uh, the Witcher George did during his Witcher 3 playthrough on this channel. Same with the Witcher 2 and 1. Whew, it's been a long old journey. Long, long old journey. You know what I'm going to check? Just before I let the credits play it out. And then I'll see you all at the very, very end where I'm just going to say one final outro for this base game I'm just going to check when I uploaded The Witcher 2 because that game was incredible as well The Witcher 2 Part 1 was on the 13th of June 2018 so quite soon after The Witcher 1 Part The Witcher 1 first part came out in March obviously April, May, June, Witcher 2 and then the final Witcher 2 part, I'm going to assume, came out sometime in October. It came out on October the 11th. So The Witcher 3, is collectively, if you start from March to October, that's March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. That's eight months it took for us to finish The Witcher 1 and 2. Then The Witcher 3 has taken over a year. <laughs> that just gives you an idea of the length of the base game. To be fair, I didn't do everything in The Witcher 1 and 2, but, you know, I feel like I did quite a lot of it. So, amazing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let the credits play out, guys. I'm gonna let you enjoy all this amazing music. I'm gonna let you see all the amazing people that made this just incredible game. You know, I don't know if anyone at CD Projekt Red is ever gonna see this series... Um, probably not, <laughs> but if you're watching anyone from a from a graphic designer to an actual, you know, like someone that's developed a 3D rig or um, someone that's just a writer or any, any any job you've had, even if you just, you know, you're an intern, you brought the coffee when they were making this incredible game. I want to thank you, and I think I can say thank you from every single person that's watched this series and played the games and had all this, you know, uh, experienced these amazing games. You're all incredible. You've made one of the best games of all time. And for me personally, it'll be something I think I carry with me for the rest of my life. So just thank you very, very much. And you're all amazing. There's the cast. I'm assuming that's the Polish cast. <laughs> amazing. Or, or no, sorry. They have each, each, the cast of each thing for each location. Right. But I'm going to end it there. Thank you, guys. I'm going to see you when we um, finish all the end credits. I'm going to be sat here and I'm going to watch the whole thing. And then I will... Um, I'll have a brief outro, I suppose, and that'll be it.
And here we are, guys. I watched that whole thing. I even saw the thing at the end in dedication to... I, I Sorry, I can't. I don't know how to say the name. I can't remember how to say it. But I did say it. Um, dedication to them. Okay. The story of Geralt of Rivia has come to a close. You can continue traveling the world in search of Witcher contracts and adventure, but everything will be as it was before the game's last chapter. And quests tied to the main storyline will no longer be available. As it should be, my controller has turned off because I just left it the whole time. Well, we are not done yet. You have unlocked the ability to start a new game plus. To do so, create a new game save, start a new game. Uh, choose the new game plus option, select the save you created to import your character. Only saves created after unlocking the new game plus option it can be used for this purpose. Well, the game is not over yet. We have these two beautiful quests right here to get me started on the expansions. And I cannot wait to do them, guys. It's going to be incredible. You know, I think I've got to do one more thing before we fully, um, I do my outro. I think I've said all I need to say. But I think Geralt needs to say something too. Witcher George. High time we painted over that. High time, Geralt. High time. Well, guys, I'm going to end today's Witcher 3 part there. This has been the Witcher 3 base game, and I have finished. But, as I said, we still have Hearts of Stone and Blood and Wine, which are basically just continuations of the game if you've never played it before. It's what Geralt did after this main story, and they're all really, really interesting stories. Towards the end of Blood and Wine, other characters from this main story, you know, or other character, pop up, and throughout the story we actually get to, um, we actually get to do some amazing things. They're basically entire new uh, not entire new games, really. They're, they're entire new... They could be entire new games. They're that good. Blood and Wine especially. So, we're going to end today's Witcher 3 part there. And in the Witcher 3 base game series there. I hope everybody has enjoyed watching. I really appreciate it for all of you that have liked and commented throughout the series. And just everyone that subscribed, all that stuff. I really do just... You know, guys... Any of you that have watched for just... You know, if you've watched even since the start. If you've watched, you know, a week ago, whatever else... I just want to thank you all so much. I mean, obviously, if you've watched since the start, if you've watched these parts for an entire year, oh my god, you've been through it. But even everyone else, if you've even just watched 47 parts of this series, thank you all so much as well, because that's a very long time, considering some of these parts are three hours plus. That's, uh, that's literally days. So, um, yeah, thank you all so much, guys. I mean, even if each part was an hour, that's already, what, like two days? Uh, which is incredible, yeah, just about, but some of them are three hours, some of them are two hours, some of them are an hour, but none of them, I think, are less than that. So we're done there anyway, guys. I look forward to getting onto Hearts of Stone. I don't know when I'll be getting onto that. It'll be either next week, maybe the week after. Might take a little week break, just after having finished this. But it'll be very soon, and I'm looking forward to it, and I hope you'll all join me there. There's some, as I said, just amazing stuff. If you don't know about Gauntro Dim yet, or if you do, and, you know, or if you want to know, that's what we're going to be going into next, with all geared and the Man of Mirrors and that whole mystery. I can't wait. It's, it's incredible. But anyway, guys, that's it for the Witcher base game series, and I guess today's Witcher part. I just want to say thank you to all the Patreon pledges. As always, you guys are just amazing, and thank you all so much. I really do appreciate your continued support, and I'm glad to have you on this, you know, end series screen right here. But anyway, guys, that's it for the Witcher 3 base game. Now on to Hearts of Stone. I look forward to seeing you all there, and as always, guys, remember to have an awesome rest of the week. You're all amazing.